Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Listen, let me tell you this. We are going to sit down. A man of God went to meet Bishop Oyedeko. He was going to get into ministry. And he said, Daddy, sir, what advice would you give me as a young minister now that I'm going to ministry? And he thought Bishop Oyedeko would tell him, be prayerful, make sure you fast, make sure you teach the word in season. Bishop Oyedeko looked at him passionately like a father would look at a son and spoke to him in Yoruba and said never fight alone that's my advice never fight the first rule never fight alone David you are going to fight who is with you whose son are you from which family do you come from what covenant is assisting you he said, told him, never fight alone. Never fight alone. Let me tell you this. Do you know the reason why many people remain in the same situation for a long time? They have done everything physical, but there is no prophetic push in their lives. They stay like that. They labor foolishly. They, they are skilled. I have seen gifted people. I have seen job applicants. I have seen all kinds of people this system this kingdom you see is a spiritual kingdom I, I pray that God will help you understand this fast enough that in this kingdom everything starts spiritually when you spiritualize your mentality you have you have set yourself in order for a life of victory nothing ever happens in this life just by the arm of flesh it's a waste of time the arm of flesh is only relevant when there is a backing satan never attacks until he vets that the power to this to defeat you is higher than the force backing you when satan comes to you he doesn't look at you he looks if there is any force backing you jesus i know paul i know who are you so many believers that you are in church that you are coming every week that you are a worker it doesn't justify that you have received this ministry i know what this thing has done in my life this truth you see and by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt it's amazing how many people remain in difficulties when there is a route to cheap victory the kingdom of god operates systemically if you don't know how these things happen you can labor and labor and labor and labor and labor and create a theology out of your pain that this dimension is not possible and believe that any other person working in that dimension must be cutting corners spiritually somewhere no he told Cain he says if you offer it paraphrasing according to pattern will it not be accepted the problem was never because you were king you refused to do it accordingly are we together i was hearing the testimonies of this these people here and i just sat down 
and in my mind i'm saying how many other people need the same thing but don't know how to receive it there are people who are not very wise there are people who are not very smart honestly there are people who are not very connected but among the many principles they've painfully adhered to is the foolishness of believing the prophetic word of the Lord and they have watched their lives enter dimension and there are many of us who have come with our philosophies and exaggeration of intellectualism we have stretched everything we know from border to border and all that is left in our lives today is shame shame that vetoes everything your studies whatever there is a way out brothers and sisters there is a more excellent way god brings us here because he loves us and because he wants to help us don't allow the patterns of failure to be too much in your life plenty of people have failed for you already why must you go through all of this again and by a prophet not by a man not by a preacher not by an orator not by a bible reader listen carefully not by one who oil was on his head like just pouring oil and by a prophet how you know he is a prophet is when you are truly delivered anybody can say go out the results justify the office the results justify the mantle because every office God institutes on earth there is a prototype of it in heaven are we together now so when you speak here on earth the same way that throne that system of governance allocated to your grace to validate that he truly called you in that dimension ministers to the people and there are angels that signify anointings listen carefully don't just be conscious of the presence of the Holy Spirit alone he's not the only spiritual force at work there are angels listen carefully that validate anointings there is a kind of anointing you carry and certain angels start following you there is a kind of mantle a mantle is not an anointing there is a kind of mantle you carry that certain angels come listen there is an office you occupy that necessitates the operation of certain not just angels angels are not the only beings that assist men in heaven there are many we only just know angels as we call them they are all messengers but they don't do the same thing the revelation of jesus which he gave unto his servant john he sent it and signified it by his angel not an angel his angel an angel connected to that dimension so you are calling to the healing ministry if it is true you are called there are a kind of angels that should work so when the word of god because they confirm the word of his messengers when that word is released at the authorization of the spirit the holy spirit the holy spirit is the master governor of every spiritual operation so even when the bride speaks they watch on the spirit for permission when the spirit says let it be done let me tell you the same way the bible says the spirit came to resurrect jesus from the dead but we see the dynamics at the instance of the spirit an angel came rolled away the stone sat on it holy spirit you can come he rolled away the stone the holy spirit does not just walk maybe the way some of us think there are real angels so when you come for koinonia it's not just enough it's not only seats you have come to see the human beings you see are a very minute fraction of the hosts of heaven listen a church is not a church because of people a church is a church because there must be an access point from that church to the gates of heaven jacob the first mention of the word house of god genesis 28 jacob came it was a stone and a background no chairs no fasting no prayer no nothing and jacob got up he saw angels ascending that means if angels are not ascending and descending that is not the house of god he said this is the gate of heaven so a church is not a church just because there's a man standing and there are people sitting there must be an access point from that location to access heaven 
and to release realities to people are we together every challenge in your life is relative to the grace the mantle and the office that addresses it every challenge every challenge relative relative the same way you can meet a doctor and be rambling and say doctor sir something is wrong and he just laughs and just prescribes a b c and within days he has been trained to trivialize your challenge don't allow your situation make you believe that just because it is insurmountable to you it means it's so for everybody that's pride though are you hearing what i'm saying that you have tried to access favor that you have tried to access dimensions in the spirit to see an unusual dimension of the gift of the spirit work in you that bankruptcy is not generic it's only personalized to you which is an expression of your limitation in understanding the ways of god are we together i want to pray for you you don't it's not by kneeling down and all it's just by receiving we are going to get to the word but I just, I just felt in my spirit, the Lord was impressing while I sat back there to just speak a word. So that certain challenges, you have done your best, you are sincere. I know that we are rising in faith, God is helping us. But the truth is that many of us at this level, you have done everything to be done physically. You need that prophetic push. I know that I speak over your life all the time. But remember, I'm prophesying as I am commanded. I can prophesy as I wish. God will still honor it. But when he commands, then be ready for dry bones to become an army. Are we together? Now in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Father, your word declares, and by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet were they preserved. Father, I stretch my hands. Let it be an extension of the hand that brings breakthrough, that brings deliverance. And I'm prophesying to someone who is in a pit right now that there is no human way you should come out. In the name of Jesus Christ, everywhere across this auditorium, if there is anyone in an impossible situation, I bring you out now in the name of Jesus. I send an anointing into that pit where you are. And I declare that by a mystery, in the name of Jesus, let the axe head that has sunk into the water, I command that axe head to float now. I command that axe head to float now. I decree and declare, there are people here, the pace that you are moving in life will never allow you to serve God in truth. The pace is too slow to have time for God and it's a strategy by the devil because provided he keeps your mind on tea and bread provided he keeps your mind on these things you will never have the time to focus on the things that matter in the name of Jesus the Bible says the hand of God came upon Elijah and Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel in Jesus name I supply speed to your destiny I command supernatural speed speed to your destiny speed to your destiny speed to your destiny hallelujah we are praying Paul spoke and I said once and again I desire to come to you he said but Satan hindered us but Satan I desire to come to you that's your breakthrough speaking that's your lifting speaking I have desire to come but Satan hindered us I have desire just like you prayed since last year you were calling me out I desire to come but Satan hindered us in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God any dimension in the spirit or any allocation from the spirit that was designed by the ordinance of God to be captured in your destiny by now and by witchcraft or whatever manipulation you have not entered into it I command the embargo that stands between you the embargo whether spiritual whether human 
in the name of Jesus, I smash it out of your way now. I smash it out of your way now. I want to pray for you. There are many of you, your helpers are not even aware. The devil has made sure that every door that will connect you to them has been closed. Every door. Nobody willing to help you. You suffer alone. You pray alone. You fast alone. You labor alone. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Even if you have money, it doesn't guarantee that you have favor. Favor is not all about money. In fact, money is, is less than one-tenth of the mysteries of favor. Favor is the ability for men to rise up and come to your aid not just once but to remain so as a reality you can never enter your rest when you are doing everything alone who can rise up for you when adversity speaks who can rise up for you at the gates where you are not here no one advocating for your interest in the name of jesus i stretch my hands by the grace and the anointing of the spirit i decree and declare I push you by prophecy into the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers. I push you by prophecy. Receive of their ministry. I prophesy favor over your life. I prophesy favor over your life. Hallelujah. Two more prayers and then we'll sit down. I want to pray for your finances and then I'll round up with your spiritual life. Listen, let me tell you this. You will never access finances the way many of us are approaching it. That's not the way it works. Everything is first spiritual. It's not by doing business. It's not by getting a job. Doing business and getting a job is simply a system of collecting your spiritual allocation the bible says god has blessed us with all spiritual blessings but they reside in heavenly places in christ you don't need it there the word must be made manifest it must be made flesh are you hearing what i'm saying i want to pray for us listen let me tell you by the grace of god we are people that god has helped and by the grace of god we are people who God has proven through this ministry that if God helps you financially you can have the time to serve him this demonic distraction that comes by looking for what to eat what to wear that stops us from praying that brings us into yokes that are uncalled for because our daily breads must be met that distracts us there is no time to serve God seven days a week all you are doing is looking for money you get up in the morning money to sleep in the night money the holy ghost is talking the thoughts of money chokes his voice let me pray for you the bible says the prophet said by this time tomorrow by this time tomorrow i want to pray don't be foolish you have had the testimonies that happen money has a spirit that note you see is an obedient servant there is a spirit that controls resources it doesn't come just like that the spirit that the devil put in place to control financial resources is called mammon and you never never can access mammon without bowing to satan so if you want to get resources the world's way get ready to compromise your faith your life your integrity your everything for it but there is another system in the kingdom are we together now he says thou shalt remember the lord thy god for it is he it is in his office to give you the ability the power to prosper um a lot of people have thought that the power to prosper is concepts ideas insight i believe that but that's just the physical dimension the power to prosper is an anointing there is an exact anointing whose assignment is to call forth resources the same way noah sat there and the animals started coming on their own that's the power to prosper it calls for people 
it calls forth resources it calls forth opportunities you don't just use your mouth to call it when that grace is on you it's magnetic it is true has nothing to do with ministry has nothing to do with a job a job business and every financial vehicle only supplies the value chain for its sustainability but it's originated from the spirit are we together I want to pray over our finances if you don't need it that's all right no I, I I want to believe not everybody needs it but truly there are people here is do you know do you know let me tell you this it's very very I believe that it bleeds the heart of God when we come for a meeting like this where the Spirit of God wants to build our spirit wants to help us to know him and all that is in our mind is waiting for when money prophecy will come wait it's, it's a terrible thing you will never grow that way nobody grows spiritually talking about money all the time it's an issue that by the spirit of god you should access be done away with and then you can focus if you don't believe you can solve money issues to know this is solved and turn and face god then there's no point receiving this prayer there is i'm not saying you should not get your job i'm not saying you should not do your business i train i teach people to be valuable but let me tell you this it's a waste if you keep this fan and it's not collected to electricity the fan has potentials this mic although you don't see a wire there is still a technology that ultimately connects it to a generator that you cannot see it does not mean it's not there of the generator you will, I, I don't have to collect the mic from you I just disconnect it from the generator and let you keep switching off and on you are doing the right thing it should work but because it's not connected to something something that was supposed to work doesn't work again are you seeing now so you are doing what you are doing this is actually how to on the mic and off it you are correct but because the generator is disconnected from the mic you do the right thing it still doesn't work it is the life of God. It is that connection that activates whatever you do. When this anointing is on you, it doesn't really matter what you do. Whatsoever he doeth, whatsoever he doeth, prospers. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, I pray for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, Lord, you have helped me. I have seen your mercy and I've seen your grace. You have helped this ministry. We have seen your mercy. Father, I pray that the same mercy and the same grace, even in the area of finances, I cry unto you right now. Let that grace, let that unction come upon someone now. Let that unction come upon someone now let that unction come upon someone whose family has never believed they can rise lord may that grace be a supernatural bailout system for a family that is in need of your help right now may this anointing come upon your life and roll away shame in the name of jesus by this anointing i declare that whatever it is you are involved in i don't care whether it has prospered or not i command it i instruct it to work in the name of jesus christ finally i pray for your spiritual life listen in all your growth if you don't grow spiritually you are not growing you can have all the money in the world like i just prayed for you listen carefully you can have all the human connections but if you lose sync with what god is doing and you lose touch with spiritual realities then you will not last the value for every aspect of your life is that although these things are there your spirit is still alive unto god you are growing in an ever increasing dimension understanding not just what god wrote in the bible but his program for the nations for now if you lose touch with this present truth god's system of relevance then no matter what else you have you are irrelevant you will watch yourself being edged out of the move of god 
therefore i pray for you in the name of jesus every distraction over your spirit man i curse it now in the name of jesus christ i decree and i declare whatever has blocked the portals of the spirit from granting you access to the deep and the current speakings of the spirit the deep and the current speakings the deep and the current speakings revelatory dimensions that communicate this present truth i command those portals to be open now in the name of jesus christ whatever has closed and frustrated your appetite for prayer the ability to not just shouting up and down staying with god staying until your spirit man is energized i declare that tonight may you be brought to a new dimension of prayer fire whatever has made you comfortable with where you are spiritually that you don't even see the need to press again in the name of jesus may tonight's teaching plant a strange hunger in your spirit every door spiritually that you are walking in that my god did not open i don't care what dimension you are facing if his word was opened by satan to distract you i shut that door now in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus please be seated lord we give you praise in the name of jesus christ i welcome everyone tonight in the name of jesus it's my joy to bring us the word every time the bible declares that we should be instant in season praise the lord first peter chapter 2 and verse 9 i'll be teaching on something along the lines of first peter chapter 2 and verse 9 helping us to understand certain realities as far as kingdom legislation is concerned one of my greatest uh, prayer for us is that we are trained and equipped not just to see miracles this is a ministry that god has blessed with grace for miracles signs and wonders but i am passionate about inculcating and transferring spiritual understanding in believers you can know the efficiency of a man of god by the quality of the useful spiritual information listen carefully not just random spiritual information the quality of the useful spiritual information that is transferred to the average member not the ministers not the leaders their 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 level of spiritual excellence can be for obvious reasons but that when you when you hand pick anyone at random and discuss with the person over basic spiritual truths foundational doctrines in the kingdom and then especially doctrines that relate to our reigning and our victory you should be able to have an intelligent conversation with such a person that is proof that the man of god and that ministry is careful enough i am passionate about teaching the word of god are we together now because it is in the teaching of the word of god that understanding comes and when understanding comes then the grace the fortitude to release your faith through obedience is released upon you so please i want you to pay attention especially for many of us who just come i know some of us have problems and challenges but don't forget don't forget that koinonia primarily is a place of encounter and is a place of growth spiritual growth much more than a place of receiving the miraculous much more than a place of signs and wonders this place will always remain the place of signs and wonders but much more than that this is bethel the place of bread where the hallowed bread of the spirit is open and you receive but much more than receiving that there is an impartation so when you come while you are sitting you see that there is an anointing working in you 
as the word of god is taught there is an anointing you are not only hearing are we together now you are not if all you are doing is hearing then this is a lecture maybe spiritual in context but it's a lecture what makes it the ministration of the spirit is the presence of the anointing the bible calls us abled ministers and it says that we are ministers after the spirit no matter how articulate and how deeply spiritual i am if this anointing this presence factor is not there then it's a total waste of time are we together so i'm saying this so that we must be passionate about growth young and old we come from different spiritual backgrounds and uh, we aspire for a similar spiritual destiny but in the interim our hearts must be open to educate our minds spiritually it's terrible to be ignorant as a spiritual person you don't need to know everything but there are foundational doctrines of the kingdom that you have to know everyone personally not just to have a tape that talks about it not just to have a book that talks about it not just to attend a ministry or to submit to a man or an anointing that knows it it is a revelation that must be inculcated as part of your understanding are you getting blessed now it's very very important your edge in life much more than the coming of the anointing is the awareness and the understanding of the systems of the kingdom how it works when you call someone a master why is he a master every time i want to access my internet banking platform um gtb is one of my banks and i see them marketing something about a food expo that will be done and i see master chefs five or six of them who will be holding master classes all of them are called master chefs i had the opportunity to watch two of those people and i saw the way they demystify cooking they showed that cooking is scientific you can you can predict what will become in a notable level of accuracy that's called a master a master is a master at foundations when you say you are a master that means the foundations of a system are things that you have at your fingertips you're a master driver there is nothing another driver does not necessarily know it's just that you are a master at that foundation you can turn a car sideways and still be driving it now that's mastery the same tools that someone uses is what you use but with a level of competence that produces a result everything you will need for victory is accessible to everyone but how we engage it is where the difference so i not only want us to be sound in the world to be able to quote scriptures blood of jesus fire of the holy ghost there are very ignorant things that believers do that is a pain to the heart of the father we should be able to grow spiritually in understanding to be able to know what to do what to engage how to live in this kingdom you see the goal of this teaching you're coming every week is not just to prove that a man is called of god there is a system of spiritual mentorship are we together your life should become something exact with time you should begin to have an appreciation of the ways of god that a time can come you are well equipped to be able to serve the purposes of the kingdom without fear because you know what should happen and if and when what you want is not what happens there is a system you are aware of that can compel things to come to the obedience of christ if you're with me say amen, amen. first peter chapter 2 and verse 9 here's what it says but ye are a chosen generation now this is a very interesting word because there were many generations many generations in fact many dispensations the word generation there does not necessarily mean just an age range you know physically we have a bio a biological and physical definition of a generation a particular age range for some 0 to 15 some 0 to 30 make up a generation that's not what god is talking about here he's the word generation there's a word race race of people within a particular context of civilization he said that there you are a chosen generation what does that mean there are other 
dispensations other races of people but your race your spiritual generation has been particularly chosen so you are a chosen generation and this is where i want us to dwell you are a royal priesthood it would have been all right to say you are a priesthood you are priests but it says you are also royalty you are a royal priesthood then it says an holy nation a peculiar people that ye should with all these things the being chosen the priesthood the royalty the peculiarity all of that is to enable you show forth the praises praises the word doxazo the flaunting of a man's glory making his glory known show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light he called you into his light hold on let me help you understand this what makes you chosen what makes you royal what makes you a priesthood what makes you peculiar is the marvelous light you entered are you getting the whole thing now all of that happened because you entered his he called you into his marvelous light whoever enters that marvelous light is fortunate is blessed the bible tells us that some of these prophets saw these things they sought to walk in these dimensions they kept searching for what manner of times the spirit had revealed they knew that there would come a dispensation of men and women who will be granted archives to these things in fact some of these prophets prophesied it but they were not given insight to understand what they prophesied they just spoke it and left it there but the bible says you are fortunate in that you can not just enter his light but his marvelous light the light access to his mysteries he called you out of ignorance darkness the same expression that is used in genesis chapter one darkness void is the hebrew word tohu abohu darkness ignorance um confusion lack of light lack of hope depression the same expression he called you out of darkness notice he didn't say he called you out of sin notice he didn't say he called you out of witchcraft notice he didn't say he called you out of the devil the major reason why satan sin the devil whatever it is oppressed people was the presence of darkness are you getting what i'm saying now so it's not like satan was so powerful they are called rulers of darkness every time there is darkness their dominion kicks in and he called you so how does god make people peculiar by introducing them to his marvelous light the bible says god who had commanded the light to shine out of darkness he says he had shined in our heart to reveal to us the glory of jesus the, the, the glory of the knowledge of god as seen on the face of jesus christ the marvelous light that means listen carefully that means although prophetically you belong to a race that the bible calls a peculiar people and a royal priesthood if you do not accept that that marvelous light is not any light that marvelous light is a spiritual allocation of knowledge that has been given to a dispensation this marvelous light is exact it's not just that god brought you into any light no the light of god is in levels there are certain lights he made to signify seasons to signify times not just the stars in the sky spiritually you would read in the bible every time prophets would interact with god sometimes he would tell them seal it you have seen this but just close it and keep it in other words it's not for this race of people how david tried david wanted to access the realities of the messiah david wanted to see redemption he pressed for it pressed for it he saw glimpses of it but could not put it together isaiah saw the virgin birth isaiah saw god becoming man they all saw pieces of it but nobody because there is a an allocation of spiritual knowledge there is a body of knowledge that is given to a dispensation of people and our generation is very fortunate 
we are not only fortunate because we are spiritual people we are, we are not fortunate because we are better than smith wigglesworth listen carefully we are not fortunate because we are better than all these saints the puritans and the rest we are fortunate because god by his election of grace not that we ask for it by his predeterminate counsel has chosen to bring us into a, a body of knowledge a body of knowledge that can separate us in experience even those who saw these verses only read about it many of them never worked in the experience let me tell you this there are things written in the bible that are not for everybody there are things written in the bible that sometimes are for an individual sometimes are for a race and those individuals not everything written in the bible was for people of old there are things written in our generation there are things written about you one day you will carry your bible and know this is me the bible says in luke chapter 4 the bible says jesus stood up for to read and it was given to him the messianic prophecy remember isaiah wrote this hundreds of years before jesus and jesus was not the first person to read it i they were talking about a man but who was that man every prophet who had access tried they would check against the reigning prophet and say no this does not fit john the baptist uh -uh, it almost fits but it can't be john and all of a sudden jesus comes and opens up the prophecy of Isaiah and begins to read the spirit of the lord is upon me anybody can appreciate it prophetically but there is an exact person it was written for are we together now look up i'm teaching you something if you read the bible as a book that spoke to someone but just applicable to you you are lying there are things written in the bible that have not been fulfilled by anybody outside our race a day will come you will look at it and know that this word was for our generation are you are you getting what i'm saying give me hebrews chapter 11 the last verse let me show you one of those things and then we'll come back to this hebrews chapter 11 read let's go let's start from verse 37 and then we'll go to 40 give us from verse 37 they were stoned they were sown asunder were tempted slain with the sword they wandered about in sheepskins goatskins be destitute afflicted tormented 38 of whom the world was not worthy they wandered in deserts talking about um the archives of faith the patriarchs of faith 39 he said all these who are the these all the guys that were part of those who were recorded i hope you know they never had the opportunity to read the bible because we are now reading about them so by the time we were writing about them there was just the um, some of the psalms and the torah and all of that the bible says they received not the promise there was still an expectation in the heart of god and they all did not receive it 40 he said god having provided what some better things for us who are the us the readers not the actors if you never got to read this you were not in that generation it is for those who will read this he says so that they without us as general as they were without us there is there are things written here that no generation has found it will take men of audacity many of us believe that everything that was written in the bible has happened is just a prophetic application no no one day you will open something and see koinonia right there not as a word you will see a chapter of the bible talking about exactly what is happening now many of you will know if i told you that isaiah prophesied about you pastor alpha as a person you may say yes prophetically until the spirit when you are called into this marvelous light listen he never said called into light because god made many lights and every generation partook of a dimension of light but there is a marvelous light the same way he made two great lights 
all the prophets had dimensions of God and based on what they knew that was all about God in their generation until another prophet came and another generation came with another dimension of God and the Bible says here that so that they without us meaning there is something about koinonia that must be added to the Bible in heaven then when you now read the saints plus the archives of koinonia it produces perfection Let me just allow you to settle down and then we'll take it again. Listen. I hope you know there is a book in heaven where things are recorded. I hope you know that when Paul was having his little teaching and Peter, the plan was not for that to be captured in the Bible. They were living. Is that true? Imagine, imagine in your mind, 300 years from now, let's assume that Christ chooses to tarry none of us here i believe should be alive there's no reason why i should be on earth then i will be alive but not on earth are we together now now imagine that a young boy of 13 years or 15 years then is now reading that uh -uh, in 2018 there was a service that service was held by somebody there was a worshiper called sam he's reading a story we are not reading it because we are the actors but the Bible says, even those who are the readers, there is a part for them in prophecy here to fulfill. So that when you now combine both the actors and our generation, it will create that perfection. There is still a desire in the heart of God, in spite of what Paul has done, in spite of what all of them have done, there is still a desire in the heart of God that there is a light there is a body of the revelation of God allocated for a generation. None of their generation taught people to live in balance. One of the problems with every other generation until our own is that there was a traceable imbalance. Are we together? If there were prophets, they had problems. Even during God's generals, most of them found God but there was a level of light that was not given imbalance here and there so jesus found where it was written about him about him literally not about somebody that he applied to his life he was the one they were talking about i pray for you Huh? that one day you will open the Bible and see something and God will tell you son I know you may not believe it but this verse was not written to a prophet that you should receive by faith this one when I said a man I will raise in the eyes of prophecy anybody can apply it by faith but that man was you that does the Bible centrally talks about Christ but there are auxiliary revelations about individuals the central message of the scripture is christ but it's not only christ christ is the major doctrine perfect theology the entire focus of the bible is christ but not christ alone his bride he found where it was written about him that a time will come a generation will prosper and that i am sending you and you will think he was talking of joseph until one day you read and god will tell you it is this generation and you are that person listen notice every time god speaks about people he never calls their name everybody has a spiritual name there is a name in the realm of the spirit that men are identified with listen Did you ever see the word Jesus? He say a virgin shall conceive. Let me tell you how prophecy works. And give birth to a son. And you shall call that son. Did you ever hear them call Jesus Emmanuel? Please talk to me. But did the prophet lie? It's God's system. So you will not find a Jimmy. But you will find a spiritual name that you know this is me. It was written be difficult for you to receive because you say out of the six point how many billion people no read the bible 
the captains of industry today were written bill gates is in the bible all these guys they were in the bible it's not just that they were in the bible the prophet saw them you will not find bill but you will find him there this koinonia you see this meeting you see is in your bible here that you have read bible cover to cover god i'm not talking of something that okay god sent jeremiah oh god like you sent jeremiah you sent me it's not true you see now the surprise i've not even gotten to my message tonight the surprising part is that demons know they are not in ignorance why do you think spirits pursue certain individuals no they of course satan hates everybody but there are certain individuals he will mark them kill for them do everything around them because you may not know that there is something written that there is a part you have to play imagine when i was born I'm sure my mother would just believe that she, she gave birth to it, whatever it is. You know, I didn't take breast milk. God punished the devil. The, the devil wanted to kill me from birth. I was fed on lactose because he wanted to destroy me. My mother just felt she was carrying a baby. But if only she opened and saw that a woman will conceive. This is not Mary. Not Mary. That a prophet one day was scanning to a generation and saw they saw the generation of the baptism of the holy ghost with stammering lips and another tongue will they praise they left it as a code every prophecy about you in the bible is a code it must be opened let me tell you what happens i don't know why do you know holy spirit well you are you are the lord of this teaching tonight i don't know what is taking me to this dimension but let me three, tell you three things that happens when the code of your destiny is open from scripture one god changes your name listen let me tell you the concept of the change of name sometimes it can be physical but more than that notice there was nobody whose prophetic word opened and a name was not given to him now read your bible cephas saul paul abraham abraham sarai sarah read your bible you see there thou art peter it didn't say your name is peter peter you have found it you have found it they have been calling you selfers but something open your you are peter found it you found it I, you know sometimes when i share these things in my spirit i just i want to be as simple as possible one of my goals as a man of god is not to bamboozle you with complication my goal is to communicate understanding because there are all kinds of people but sometimes you see it's very difficult very difficult to teach these things because you may never know if god appears to you now he will not call you by your father's name he will call you by your name in the spirit you will hear it this is what i'm trying to tell you you will never hear god say a genie no 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 a name is a code when you use an atm there are people who use machines let me tell you if this thing does not happen to you there are dimensions of prophecy about your life that will never happen that's why people erroneously just go and carry a name after baptism oh your name is what's your name tosin it just oh my name is, is victory too and you know wonderful but you just call your name a carnal name you are strolling to the swimming pool and they said make sure you have a name what name do we put there just say john or james and you find out no there was a man sent from god but the name was given i'm sure that the father would have called him something but the angel said no 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 something had been concluded from heaven the name that opens this man's destiny is called john he said no 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 he shut his mouth until he revealed to the wife so when you see certain things you will just see that god says a woman shall arise in a generation and she shall be called a helper you may not know what it means 
you will start thinking it's not it may be you but you never know you are the one until the season comes when you enter this marvelous light the body of knowledge allocated for whoever should walk in it then you'll find out that you will open it and all of a sudden grace 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 just opens you up the name joshua was not given to me by my father the name joshua was given to me by god my biological father and mother did not call me joshua our ignorance in the spirit has costed us a lot of things you shall call him emmanuel jesus comes i thought somebody would say ah oh god make sure make sure you don't miss out your name is emmanuel no when the angel now comes that emmanuel was a code the same angel say you shall call him jesus when the the man blind Bartimaeus, when he saw him he cried thou son of david is the son of david jesus what who is the son of david son of david is solomon so was the man not calling solomon solomon help me say no that was a wise man the son of david is solomon why didn't jesus say you are lying solomon has gone to be with the lord no thou son of david the one who sits on the throne spiritually Are, we, are you hearing what I'm saying? So there are things written in this Bible. I searched the Bible to find out the program of God. But I searched the Bible too looking. Lord, you, it can't just be Koinonia. This is not just Zaria. There is something prophetic. Show me. Where is it? Where is it? It's not just about this. Show me. Many of you just sit down and find a nice scripture. You shall build houses you shall repair the former desolations amen of course prophetically is applied to you but let me tell you there is something with your name on it that you can get up and know that this is my meat to do and finish what was written i don't know if it's so for everybody but there are people one of the things that happens to men when they truly encounter god is that something happens to their name what is your name not what do you want jacob the problem with you has to do with your name what is your name have you been given a name from the spirit and he said no my name is jacob see i don't care whether his name was his name was goodness the name would still have been changed it's not because he's a cheat and a supplanter no selman means the way to love is that not a nice name who would not want to give a child a nice name like that god said what are you talking about let's talk about destiny destiny you carry the name you carry the office you carry the crown you carry the scepter every man of god that has ever prophesied to me that didn't know my name never call me my biological name never not once i remember one time i met a dear man of god he's now a dear friend somewhere and he was speaking and he looked at me. in fact not even i remember a time i think we we're going to was it Benin republic I, I i think i can't remember now Benin republic for a program and we were there you know all these guys that use divination that can stand in the market and start prophesying to you remember they were trying to clear a, a, a passport at, at customs and all of that and then i stood close and he looked at me and said joshua he said you see this guy he has seen something in the spirit read your bible jesus was the man because there was no power in that name no there was no power in that name j-e-s-u-s no 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 you call him jesus say, how are you there's food for you so you will be surprised that many of you have been having dreams 
and in those dreams certain names are called you by spiritual forces they call you names and you think maybe they are talking about bible actors somewhere why are you go is it that you don't know my name i will never forget one time i was having a dream very prophetic dream um i think i wrote it i can't remember i can't i can't even pronounce it well it was a name that was called and it was an angel of the lord who was calling god a name i checked the bible i didn't find that name anywhere but it was a name like tongues a long name <laughs> what is this i wrote i thought it was greek I'm, I'm, let me tell you i studied the bible very very well i'm not a lazy person i checked it check lexicon check everything I just saw some nonsense started coming out part rubbish some of these zodiac things i said no 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 i checked it very well i said but what is this name very long name that was called if someone introduces that name now that person is going to be in trouble what name which one he is called what what name no but the bible says there is a marvelous light allocated for a generation we thank god for what they did the goal of studying the bible is not just to stop there the goal of studying the bible is to understand god's character and by his spirit continue continue what we are living now is being recorded in heaven it will be read and there are people who will learn from it it's not just because there is no spiritual archaeology right no 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 in the heavens one day you will read there are gifts of the spirit you see operate here you may not find them exactly you can just relate them with one that is close to them i told you the gifts of the spirit are not nine they are as unlimited as the spirit himself theologically and for the purpose of of spiritual administration we focus there but there are not nine gifts of the spirit there are dimensions that the evil in this day requires the evil in the then day did not require some of these dimensions so they were sealed and left for our generation are we together the level of deception in our generation is too high there are other gifts that must be opened people go for war and they hide different sets of weapons based on the attack there are times that when the aggression gets bad they now they are, all nations of the world have certain weapons that no other nation has seen every some are hiding it in the sea some are hiding it somewhere when the going gets tough then they will bring out those arsenals that's how it is spiritually why am i saying this to us listen carefully you will find yourself walking in very deep spiritual dimensions that if you are not guided you may think it is occult or it is witchcraft and you will throw away the dealings of the spirit just because it is strange now you must be guided don't get me wrong don't dabble into all kinds of spiritual things and destroy yourself but many people have just come around the stories of the past wonderful but brothers and sisters there is what god is doing and the bible says that we are a chosen generation we are a royal priesthood a holy nation hold on who was saying this who was saying this huh do you know who was saying this 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 was peter the apostle saying but ye who was he talking to that means he was not there but you read it now did you learn it, it didn't say but we but you the people i'm talking to you are a chosen generation i'm not in your generation revelations let's go to the bible let's go to the bible revelation chapter 5 revelation chapter 5 please sit down revelation chapter 5 is god helping us tonight see sometimes god just disorganizes me like this revelation chapter 5 let me show you something <laughs> let's read from verse 8 from verse 8 to 10 now look at this and when he had taken the book 
the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb so the four living creatures 24 elders are we together the bible says they fell down before who the lamb having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors which are the prayers of the saints verse 9 and they sung a new song saying thou art worthy to take the book and to open its seals for thou was slain and had redeemed the word us there is an error the 24 elders and the four living creatures are not part of the redeemed the word there is redeem them unto god by thy blood out of every kindred talking about inhabitants on the earth out of every tongue and people and nation verse 10 and has made them not us you see the mistake again in translation and has made them unto our god kings and priests and they shall reign the 24 elders don't reign on earth come on now talk to me the four living creatures don't reign on earth they are in the throne room they minister to god translators messed up some of these things and if you don't read by the spirit you will just gather all kinds of things the bible says we have been made unto our god kings and priests and the domain of our legislation is on earth that we shall reign on earth now watch this imagine imagine with me that one of the 24 elders was reading this thing of course you would know it's not them it can't be talking about them and they'll be wondering what generation because they themselves don't know everything nobody in heaven knows everything except god they see parts too and so they'll be wondering ah, which generation is this going to be fulfilled in and all of a sudden a generation comes brothers and sisters listen let me tell you there are things that will happen in our generation that have not happened before they will not be error because they have been written it is whatever was not prophesied and is done that is error you see that that it has not been done doesn't mean it has not been said there are things that will happen the coming of jesus has not happened everyone who wrote it has gone to be with the lord and yet it has not happened but we know and nobody will argue that it will happen because it has been prophesied so also like the coming of jesus there are many other things that have been written but they were written in coded forms you have to be brought in permit me to use the word like occult you must be ushered in like the freemason call or the illuminati they can call you and say look we want you to become part of this brotherhood to give you access to certain things god has said i have kept this dimension for a generation that means no matter how many times abraham fasted he never would have entered certain things we are not entering it today just because we fasted more or we prayed more there's a place for spiritual discipline but that our generation has been chosen say chosen that's the word chosen chosen it's an election of grace that god decided by his predeterminate counsel that in a dispensation there will be a people who will be opened other doors and they will see these lights and have access to a dimension of god and reveal to a generation this is what makes us royal priesthoods peculiar people a holy nation called out the same way God called Israel out and showed Israel something no other hedonistic nation could see it was that light it is being called into light that shows that you are peculiar are we together now we have been called we have been called I tell myself I am so privileged to see and to know the things that I know sometimes i read the bible and i'm not reading a storybook in all honesty and without any sense of pride i read and i say but if i were not apostle joshua selman i would still say this guy whoever they were talking about here this guy must be joshua selman now some ignorant fellow will now come and start saying that this guy is claiming he's the messiah no that, that's not what we're talking about it is finding the scripture about your destiny 
that opens you up you see when you see a man walking in some results of result there are forces some dimensions of result there are spiritual forces that back up this operation they don't just happen just like that you check your bible you will find reinhard bonke there you check your bible you will find benihin there you check your bible you will find bin laden there you check your bible you will find isis there they are all coded the people who did this thing found it they found it by divination some of them were called into the inner courts of the spirit and were told this is your destiny you will be an agent of destruction and he said really there are some presidents and governors now that have been ushered by extraterrestrial brings into the archives of the spirit see your destiny this is what you will carry and from birth they move them like that why do you think some of these royal families take time to choose a wife and a husband you come and say you like them they say go away they go and bring out old books and check and call some people and say no the wife should come from so 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 family it was prophesied already that whoever will marry prince this or prince that must be from this family they now start finding where that lineage went to and now check and say ah you are from this family do you have a daughter yes where is she and the naive girl is sitting they say congratulations say what say just come she thinks she's going no she's something was written about her listen to what i'm teaching you what i'm teaching you is a very deep mystery in the spirit but it's true are we together lo i come as it is written of me in the volume volume one volume two volume three to do thy will it is written of me joshua selman all great things have i spoken of you O zion something is written something you have been reading what is written about others and applying it by faith prophetically yes but there must be something you will find written about you that a jimmy for this purpose i brought you for this time for this and that and that day you stand and you are no longer reading the bible you are reading you so it is true that i will be a deliverer so it is true that one day this will happen jesus read that he was going to die so when he saw death he did not run away it was part of his assignment he knew god will be so dull to allow major events happen on earth without capturing them here no no a man causing global harvest for the kingdom reinhard bonke and you believe that all he's doing was just an application of what paul did no sir no sir let's have spiritual intelligence let me tell you this some of you your being in zaria now has nothing to do with your wish is prophecy it was prophesied since whether you are aware or not is not the issue this gentleman came from accra ghana he's been around until one day you will check the archives of prophecy whether written in the bible or revealed by the spirit and you will see that god said at this time so 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 person would be here because after such and such a time he will encounter an anointing and he will start something so for that to happen god made sure no other university gave you admission you applied them um, if uh, you applied everywhere but if if they gave you admission there it would jeopardize prophecy so you had to pay the price of five years so that you would be there you see that i would be the last person to believe i should be in zaria by this time what will i be doing here for god's sake but prophecy zaria me doing what Haba. prophecy one day you will meet one old woman in zaria somewhere who used to love god in the 80s she will say my son come let me show you something god told me when i was 22 behold a young man will arise from this soil you will see 
that's what she will tell you and say god revealed to me that a time will come a move of god will start in zaria i'm now 81 when i was 17 i said lord when will it happen and then all of a sudden a young boy is moving around and the hand of god is trailing him there are many of you seated here do you know why your life is unusual because this thing a verse in scripture has been looking for you and it will never stop until you are found a verse in scripture this bible you see is a gateway it's a portal it's not a magic book it's not just about cramming scripture there's something that has been written about you mighty in this world Mighty in this world, mighty in this world, you are mighty in this world, mighty in this world, mighty in this world, you are mighty in this world, mighty in this world, you say you generation perish because you will obstruct prophecy just one carelessness leaving a region when you should not leave alone will destroy your life listen listen to me we're talking prophecy here let me suspend my teaching for tonight for next week but let's just flow with what the spirit is doing listen to me you see a spiritual man is not an ordinary man a spiritual man is governed by many factors the spirit but also governed by the truth everything on earth is like a football playing everybody there is something if a genie does not do a whole generation will perish if god is merciful then god will raise a replacement but that replacement must arise otherwise some things will not be done there is something if pastor alpha does not do in kogi state that state like this as a territory may never enter certain dimensions it's not just about looking for ministry it's prophecy that you have found it this is my contribution to the coming of christ this is what the prophet when isaiah was seeing many things i was part of what he saw this is it this is it let me tell you this hold on there are some of you ladies your assignment on earth is to give birth that's it not to preach your assignment is your room this room you are seeing your assignment there is somebody that has been prophesied that must come out through your room if it's another room something will be wrong it must be your room mighty on your mighty on your Mighty in my life, 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 mighty in my life. 
listen I want you listen carefully I know that it's true that we say no man is indispensable it is true but let me tell you this there are men who they are not aligning can cost a generation 30 extra years just one person God will find another replacement but it will never be the way it would have been if I didn't answer the call of God upon my life God's purposes will still be moved but there are people born again today who would never meet Christ their children will never find God there is a dimension just like you there is something you are not just coming for let me tell you this if you ever find yourself in koinonia that you came alone you will need to see the spiritual forces you fought this place is a place of birthing are you getting what i'm saying it's like a place of spiritual registration you are answering present they have been calling you where are you john john and the spirit of god says come and you come and say present i'm here i'm here where did you come from acquire bomb now come there is an allocation for you it may not look like it now but let me tell you brothers and sisters it may not look like it but believe me believe me there is a place written for you my dear sister don't let marriage issue kill you there is something here that's why god is meticulous about you a guy will come god is saying yes to everybody and god will tell the guy get out of this place and it's not like he hates him there is prophecy that wound is not your own no. it's for a generation listen i want you to go back and trace the story of how you came to zaria and trace the story of how you got koinonia message it's a miracle it has to be an angel no 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 it's in, it's in, it has to be spiritual when you find out that's when you see that so this is what was happening so i am this important brothers and sisters hear me what happened was that there was a blast from heaven and all those who must be relevant in god's program not only through koinonia wherever you are if that trumpet sounds i tell you you must come where it is not whether you want to you can be doing your thing and god said let's go let's go quickly and let me build you sometimes you see listen god acts as if he doesn't pity you no he's looking at the generation that are dependent on your obedience and he said not even your tears will make me stop because a woman's destiny is tied to your revealing this dimension of god listen listen let me find somewhere and i just feel let's pray first peter 2 and verse 5. i was actually going to talk about kings and priests the concept of royal priesthood We'll, we'll take that next week but let me just take just one of the aspects first peter chapter 2 and verse 5 one of the primary roles of priesthood the bible says is to offer it say ye also as lively stones listen carefully are being built up into what a spiritual house the house of god the gates of heaven a connection to the heavens you are being built you are what a holy priesthood what is your assignment to offer up spiritual sacrifices listen spiritual sacrifices are many things the constraints that you must go through so that God will be birthed in a generation is a spiritual sacrifice it takes only priesthood to make that happen when I push you people to pray to fast you are being built there is there is a sacrifice like a woman is about to give birth and he said madam eat well be strong because you will need to push the bible says as priests our assignment among others is there is a spiritual sacrifice there is a dimension of god it will take a heavy sacrifice to reveal you must be built built up into that house it says to offer up some of you that sacrifices your body 
to offer it up some of you that sacrifice is your worship some of you that sacrifice is your ambition some of you that sacrifice is your destiny some of you that sacrifice is your certificate that you labored went to school you want to get a job and god says no you will need to lay down that certificate you must be built otherwise your sacrifice cannot be acceptable to offer up you are lively stones you are part of a building hear me koinonia you are part of a building you may be a first timer that just strolled and said wow god see these guys you are using god is saying that you were here you are also part of those stones we have been looking for you where were you we are supposed to be putting lintel now but by now you should have entered a dimension and you are just getting born again anyway hurry up hurry up because there is a space for you in that building you have delayed the building because you refuse to get born again fast when god is saying let me use you the devil is there wasting your time and now you see that there is a space for you how dare you look down on god's people and think it's just only one guy called of god no sir no sir you may not look like it now every one of these people you see you think that they are serving joshua selman they are lively stones there is a part in this building i know we say it prophetically all of us are contributors we don't know what we are saying it is true there is something if ejimi does not release to this generation god will appear and say ejimi why look at he will show you a vision of the woman dying he will show you a vision of another family and said all this were tied to your obedience there are some of you ladies here you don't want to marry but god will look at you and say you must marry say lord i don't want he said then you are selfish because there is a child from your womb who will anoint a child from another woman's womb who will be the one to take over the children and that other child has been born but your own womb is not just about having children listen listen you see why some people are barren this is what satan is stopping barrenness is not just a, a demon no satan has already seen the program from here okay sam's child will give birth to this oh sam's child and pastor As alpha's child so they are the ones who will preach in that crusade okay stop pastor alpha from having a child so that the program satan does not stop everybody he's selecting he's not stupid he's looking at people who will make a major stoppage So some of you can just sit down and find out that you got born again and when others get born again they are happy miracle alert but you got born again and for one year is warfare satan is saying this is a big blow to the kingdom why did promise get born again by now you would have remained somewhere ha, what do we do to promise now okay let's make sure his wife is not born again or let's make sure she's barren I told God something I said Lord everything I represent to my generation everything that was written about me there are many other people but there is a role and I will play that role in life and death some of you here listen to me this thing tonight is a call by the Spirit God is saying look son daughter because of you something is not happening there are songs that you guys are supposed to bring you have been doing music training wonderful but sit down and say lord what are the songs for this generation what are the songs speak to me not just to teach people how to play keyboard and guitar sit down what are the songs what are the songs miriam wrote a song i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously miriam wrote it today we sing it as a song of victory we must write something that our children will read look at these little children there is a heritage we must leave for them that heritage is called a spiritual sacrifice you will pray where you don't need to pray you will fast when you shouldn't it will pain you but every time you want to give up you will remember something was written about me if anna the prophetess did not pray jesus would not come home 
her assignment how can a woman's assignment be to pray and fast for for 60 years i was born madam what is your assignment to pray for who there's a young boy i always see in a vision and god said i called you to pray in the temple till he comes mary what is your assignment on earth a ghost told me i would give birth to a son is that all how about my madam you're a smart lady but that's what he told me if mary gave birth to any other child aside from jesus she would still not be featured in the program of god listen to me in this season not everything is important to god you have to find out this present truth what is god saying about my life why am i like this why the attacks at the center of it all it's you that i see it's you that i see all these sacrifices Lord, at the center of it all it's you that i see it's you that i see As we lift our voice, it's you that I see. Listen, I think we should pray. Listen. I'm going to give you the next 10 minutes huh? we are going to pray and the prayer listen to me the prayer is Lord yes to your will listen many of us think the call is a call to be a, a preacher or a preacher's wife that's foolish thinking the call is God is saying is a relay you have been delaying people people are standing Lord yes to it yes to it lift your mouth open your mouth blast in tongues and say lord yes 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 to the prophecy that was written about me yes yes as a kingdom financier yes yes as an apostle of the lamb yes yes as a prophet to the nation Yes, as a mother in Israel. Everybody pray. Lo, I come. In the volume of the book. It is written of me. It is written of me, Joshua Selman. It is written of you. My parents may not have known it. My siblings may not have known it. But there is prophecy upon my life. Relevant to the move of God. Within a generation appointed to be a partaker of the marvelous life chosen chosen literally chosen and picked by the wisdom of god Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. When you find what was written about you, you see, let me say this. Look at me. Many of us here, 
you are going to find out things that were written about you that may not be major like Paul was teaching about um, I, I think it was in 1 Corinthians 12 he was talking about 14 12, 13, 14 he was talking about the members of the body let me balance something here some of you are going to discover that the role you have to play in the kingdom may not be as vocal as being the president of a ministry or heading a ministry and you will allow flesh listen please listen everyone listen you will allow flesh intimidate you to mean just because god has called joshua selman to head a ministry let me tell you this i want to show you a secret i'm already i'm already touching my teachings of some months i have a teaching that i'm going to bring here called the mystery of the veil it's a revelation god showed me the veil do you know why the bride in ancient times used a veil because everything glorious is covered the more a thing is in hiding the more the glory that's why the father hides in light listen there is a relationship between glory and the veil are you seeing that now so the parts of your body that we cannot see are the parts that make what we can see work so if you find out that as part of the body you are occupying a position that is not visible it's not a thing to cry it means you carry a higher weight of glory listen yes when please help help when 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 rebecca was brought to be a wife to isaac listen this is a bride on her way going the moment she saw isaac she veiled herself i'm a woman of glory she veiled herself so your heart you may never see it but let your heart stop walking and all your hands do you know all the parts that take people to the hospital are parts they cannot see you just see that the hand is no longer working the leg is not working you go and meet a doctor and say doctor what is wrong they say ah this guy has diabetes just because of something going on inside when you are sick even if they rub something on your hand it's just it is the one you swallow that goes in that you cannot see is the one responsible for your vitality listen i just felt like ministering this some of us our ministry is behind the veil and because of that you may feel very left out there are many ladies you want to be in front there are many guys you want to be in front the greater honor is when you are hiding are you getting that now yes the greater honor your blood vessels hiding your blood itself hiding yet that's what carries every other thing to your body are we together but i can see the hand i can see the mouth so you would think the mouth is so important let the heart stop pumping and that's when you will see so there are some of you god is going to call you to ministries that are behind the veil you may be in koinonia you may be anywhere else and you find out that just because i'm a member of the worship team i'm not in ministry is them apostle you are wrong you are even the stronger part some of you are quietly in prayer band 12 o'clock every night you pray for me and you may never think it's a ministry stop praying for me and you will see the attacks on my life that's when you will know that you are more glorious than even me holding the mic have you learned something tonight let me tell you this it's a big secret i learned if you want to be relevant to a generation ah huh? let a majority of your life be hidden if all of you is seen by everybody you are not strong you are not powerful no all your revelation all your rema all your finance oh no a greater part of your life should be hidden look at god god hides in light no man sees him jesus came on earth just three years and he left but many of us are see me i want to be the, the no the happening people are usually the ones that are not even the strongest believe me the electricity that powers this you cannot see it but that is what is moving the fan you are only seeing the fan but there is the electricity some of you are like that so in finding your place 
let the devil not deceive some of you to just say kai i'm touched by this message i must go and pioneer a ministry or pioneer this and destroy yourself some of you may be in hiding that you are a pastor or that you are marrying a pastor doesn't mean you must be a preacher there is a difference between a pastor and a preacher there is a difference between a pastor's wife and a preacher that you can be a prophet or a prophetess it doesn't mean you are a preacher Anna the prophetess was an intercessor 60 60 years or 64 years Abraham was a prophet Moses was a prophet father show me my place in your program open my eyes to see it open your mouth and pray show me my place pray show me my place in your prophetic blueprint in this season show me show me show me my place going to pray and say father what sacrifice must i make for this grace to speak in my generation some of you the sacrifice is that you will not marry the person you want to marry some of you the sacrifice is you will have only one child that's the sacrifice some of you the sacrifice is you will have seven children you plan for two but god will say seven because the sixth child is the prophet and so God will say you can't stop some of you the sacrifice is night prayers must continue till Jesus comes some of you the sacrifice is you must be rich you can't be poor the sacrifice is your wealth for some of you the sacrifice is the anointing you must stay till you find power you must stay till you find power you can't do ministry no 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 you must stay till you find power that's the sacrifice for some of you is utterance you must stay till the spirit of revelation enters you lord i'm willing to make the sacrifice i receive grace open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray i don't know what it will cost me but oh god of heaven i am ready
there are some of us your assignment in life has to be to reveal the power of God no matter how people criticize you if you rob your generation of that dimension then God will never be glorified are we together hear me there are some of you the family you came from that you are not proud of oh my father is an iron bender my womb, my mother sells akara in the market no that spiritual g was a combination needed for your destiny are you getting what i'm saying now you may not know that akara seller that you are not proud of and that that man that you think is just maybe an iron bender i'm not proud of him something came from two of them that is necessary for your grace that background if you came out from any other background aside from that you will never believe what i'm telling you now so god took you some of you are from families that there is no father no mother there is a reason for everything listen when you bring the prophetic dimension of life everything suddenly makes sense i see i see why i'm the only boy in my family i see why i'm the only lady i see why god allowed all my siblings to grow and then i later came as last born if i was born in the same age range they would never allow me to serve god i now see the wisdom of god that's why the bible says my ways are higher than your ways you may not know why it's happening there are some of you you would have graduated now but you went and you saw an extra year and god is saying stay god may not have been the one that caused it but he can use it for his glory if you if you travel you probably would have married somebody now and given birth to a man not giving birth to that prophet and it is in your staying remember listen it was so ordained that a woman would be the first to see jesus at resurrection because women are gates but the bible says all the other disciples came and when they looked they ran away out of fear but a woman came when she looked she stayed there it is her patient she refused to go as she stayed and stayed and stayed suddenly she saw a man you see that the angels came what is all this there is power in waiting be careful breakthrough is not rush don't compare yourself with other people you will be foolish i don't know who i'm speaking to but god is speaking to someone don't rush your life other people have cars i must have car or, mm -mm, mm -mm. be prophetic in your approach to life there is destiny upon your inside there is a reason why joseph had to be a carpenter to be the earthly father of jesus there is a reason why mary had to be a virgin it's not an insult on other women who are not virgins but there was there was a reason there was a reason why it was not just mary's womb anywhere jesus was kept had to be virgin the donkey he would climb the tomb he would stay it was not about mary it's a principle because he had to be first born among the begotten and the firstborn is the one who opens up things anything if anybody ever came out through the womb of mary jesus could not be the firstborn are we together this is my prayer all the time i don't live a foolish life i live a life that is prophetic i have found where it has been written when you find this no matter who persecutes you no matter what devil comes from where you just look and say you you are entitled to your opinion that is a derivative of foolish perception that is not kingdom but when you look at it here you will now see some of you will now see why you have been in zaria lord why am i here and god will not answer you just stay that's the answer lord let me also enjoy the common sense of living a useful life and god says just do what i'm telling you stay your staying too is an assignment sacrifice 
it takes sacrifice to do every one of these things that you see brothers and sisters but when you know that you owe a generation a dimension of God it constrains you some of you see a Jimmy here training people and helping people to be wealthy there are people who can just look and say ah this guy likes money it's a burden it's ministry there is a generation that needs it you see why we're particular and all these are doctors because we don't just want people who give people injection and prescribe drugs if that's all you do with your life then you are not very useful to the earth because there are many of you already but when you find your place in life there are people when we give back to we rejoice because of what happened listen let me advise people here if you are pregnant here or you have given birth stay with God to name your child don't get up this this these names we give children that are a product of carnality sometimes people are drinking beer and then somebody somewhere you don't need to call anybody in the village to say what is the name of my child they can suggest stay with God and find out what is the destiny of this child don't say I've always liked James what are you saying we have destroyed the lives of people some of you are carrying names today that frustrated your destinies like Jabez because it was not from the bowels of the spirit that those names were given Satan made sure that he changed your destiny by changing your name are we together I may not advise you to go and change your name but let me tell you sincerely 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 names are spiritual names are spiritual Saul in the New Testament after the resurrection still his name was changed to Paul why didn't they say former Saul Paul the apostle of the Lamb names are so important the foundation of heaven is made with names 12 names make up the foundation of heaven not your house so your name can serve as a foundation of your life nonsense demonic names that have attracted trouble to people the bible says jabez jabez was angry the mother named him in sorrow the guy got up an innocent person trouble from the left and right I told you about a gentleman who the mom cursed him she gave him a name she may not call him a name but she told him that until rat stops stealing he will never stop stealing that's a name a name is not it's a system of identification give him a name that guy will come out of prison now just they will advise him he will sit down they will counsel him two weeks is back because a name if God helps that guy and he encounters a true apostolic and prophetic ministry and that embargo is lifted in his life it's not that's, that's how he will remain he will give birth to a child the child will carry the name when these things leave people they don't leave the earth they still wait for violators and come upon them the leprosy of Naaman it left Naaman but he was still there and Gehazi made himself through greed as a scapegoat he came and said calm down please my master just made up his mind there's there's something can you give me i said oh, no 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 why not while he was giving the leprosy was hearing go to this man and his generation and a prophet confirmed it look at how a stupid man enslaved his generation because of greed do you not know that the sacrifices that you make today is not just for you it's not just for your children listen to me it's not just for your children's children when God say young man for the next 20 years of your life make sure every night you are praying oh God what is it for when God is saying that he's looking at your 18 year old son and an encounter that will need to come to that child and he says continue to pray it it may not make sense but continue some of our parents prayed non-stop for 25 years for some of you to be here is that true they prayed every night no matter how tired you are sleeping you hear mama praying oh god use my children you are snoring away your destiny your mother prayed some of them they prayed till they died that's the prayer you hear 
God is changing your name to start an order. Our generation shall praise your name. Our generation shall praise your name. Our generation shall praise your name. Our generation shall praise. Father, tonight you have dealt with us in such a dimension that we are grateful. Lord, I know you are building us. There is something you are doing in us. We may look ordinary, but there is not only destiny upon our lives, there is prophecy. Something was written in the Bible that addresses us directly. And Lord, we vow a vow as a generation that we will not fail you. We vow. We will arise and fulfill our destiny. We will arise and recover all that was lost. Let us arise in mighty victory. We will arise. Yes, we will arise. I will arise and fulfill the prophecy. I will arise. And recover all that was lost. I will arise in mighty victory. I will arise. Yes, I'll arise. I will arise. Yes, I'll arise. there are friends God is asking some of us to leave not because they are bad but because they are an interruption to prophecy you must let them go there are relationships God is asking some of us to leave not because they are bad but they are an interruption to prophecy listen carefully i'm rounding up there are geographic locations god is speaking to for some of us not because he's bad but because it's an interruption to prophecy your priesthood demands that you make spiritual sacrifices listen to me some of you are crying i see people crying don't be afraid don't be ashamed of your tears it is costly to carry the glory it is costly to carry Shekinah I can tell you this firsthand I am a student in the school of sacrifice I know what sacrifice is your time your life your energy yes. you are never we are rounding up. I want you to listen to me, especially those of you outside. Anything valuable comes at a cost. My brother, my sister, listen to me. It will never be at a platter of gold. No. You will not carry a financial mantle at a platter of gold. No. You will not carry a true anointing for a generation, not for a service, not for a program not for a convention the mantle for a generation <laughs> some of you it will cost you your nutrition and your dieting yeah. you will fast till you fast your life out 
but it's the sacrifice for some of you to cost you the cost will be loneliness because he's calling you to be a seer you will not be a public figure For some of you, the call upon your life, listen carefully. The prophetic call is not something that you just sit down prophesying names and numbers. There is a spiritual sacrifice. Let me tell you, I say it with all humility. This man you see standing has blood dripping from him, from the left and the right. This anointing you see doesn't just happen just because a man loves God don't just admire power until you see what is behind the veil are we together you don't just talk and people are falling down like that people are not idiots this is not going to listen to a man's message it's not just going to YouTube or getting messages and listening and no 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 Many preachers will tell you, listen, we're rounding up. Many preachers will tell you it doesn't matter. It matters. It matters. This is a realm and a dimension I'm walking in. I can tell you how to get there. Take sacrifice. Your night will have to be turned to an altar if it's power you want. You will need to learn when to turn the plate upside down even at your own sacrifice if your belly is your god you have you have you have prostituted away the opportunity for power hallelujah you will hardly see me moving around on this you think listen i'm a human being i have a life sometimes i want to stroll around too just like others and go and be happy sometimes i want to move around too and enjoy life like others but the call or the prophecy or the assignment it's not because i'm a public figure no sometimes i also want to go on vacation am i not a human being can't I honestly go on vacation and go and rest? It's the sacrifice. We are going to pray one last prayer. But I'm opening our eyes. Some of us have just been admiring, anointing and ministry. I'm opening your eyes to see. Brothers and sisters, it's a sacrifice. I want to marry a man of God. I want to marry a man of God. It's a sacrifice. It's not just mama or... or anointing or whatever I surrender sacrifice that's the language of kings in this kingdom whatever you ask of me I surrender Turn it into a prayer and let's pray this song. Whatever you want from me, whatever you ask, I surrender my reputation, my life, everything. your heart that's your prayer tonight 
whatever you ask of me. Oh, he will ask things. My God will ask things. He will ask for your time. He will ask for your passion. Two more times. Whatever you ask of me. Father, what do we have that was not given? For a man can receive nothing except it be given to him. You gave us life. You gave us destinies. Lord, tonight you have moved upon us seeking, seeking to have more of us that we occupy that position of priesthood in the spirit and lord there is a demand upon us in this season that we offer up spiritual sacrifices like an evening oblation we lift it up we cry we cry that not only the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart but our sacrifices will rise like an incense to the heavens that it will call for your mercy that it will call for your power that it will call for your presence build us oh god like living stones to become a spiritual house a spiritual house in experience grant us access to the light a portion for our generation the dimensions of you by the spirit that we ought to know that will be able to communicate spiritual realities in a higher dimension a dimension higher 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 than that of the saints of old the bible says so that they without us we are the perfection of your church and so we cry as a bride longing for her husband even so come maranatha we call on the word we call on that light come come to us come revelation Come portals of the spirit. Come vistas of heaven. Come. Let heaven be opened over us in unusual dimensions even in this season. Lord, we truly want to be purposeful. We want to walk not just in our destinies, but upon the prophetic words revealed about us in scripture. Literally revealed about us. Show us, oh God. Cause our eyes to see and that our hearts coming to a point of understanding that we will walk in the path of destiny let the power of the holy ghost fall on me let the power of the Holy Ghost falls on me. Listen, listen. Let me teach you something about the anointing. The anointing introduces possibilities in your life. These are things that were not there. If it's not there, you can't say it's there. It's a lie. Tonight, don't tell lies. There are things that are not in your life but should be there. The agency that will bring it is the anointing. There is favor that should be in your life but it's not in your life. If it's not there, everybody will know. When it comes, we will also know. There were things that were not in my life years ago. When it came, I knew to the degree that brought it. Listen, tonight is the ministry of the spirit. I told you it's the anointing that is responsible for the result. It is the, the it, it said, how shall these things be? What is the dynamics? It said the power of the highest. That's how it happens. It has never changed. It is always an encounter with the anointing. 
your the job of your faith is to connect you to the anointing it is never faith that moves god no your faith connects you to the power of god tonight i came with an anointing there is enough grace there is enough anointing i tell you this there is enough anointing if you will believe there is enough anointing your situation is not the first your situation is the is not the first your family situation is not the greatest there is nothing new under the sun god's ability is god's ability it's working in me it's working in me it's god's ability Ability is working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. It's God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability, God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. God's ability, God's ability, God's ability, God's ability is working in me. In me. hear me the solution to your problem is in the anointing seek an encounter with it when the anointing comes to you that's the answer that's the answer listen listen when the anointing comes your direction that's your answer that's God answering your prayer I'm not talking about falling down I'm talking about an encounter the answer is in the anointing your faith only connects you to the anointing your life can change in a moment your life can change in a moment god is a prayer answering god he answers prayers by releasing his power he sends his power through his word in the direction where it is needed and received needed and received Hey! <laughs> 
answers prayers koinonia he answers prayers with his power he answers prayers with the anointing the anointing is answered prayer the anointing is answered prayer the anointing kato soto kata is answered prayers barakoto shote ketele kata the anointing is answered prayer it is by the anointing. There is no other way. It is by the anointing. lift your hands the Lord is going to do a very quick work tonight I'm hearing people crying in the spirit and the Holy Ghost is telling me these are those who have been delayed delayed by the power of darkness I'm about to release the anointing upon people experiencing delay bring them out I stretch my hands delay you come on that judgment you come on that judgment delay delay I stretch my hands all the overflows online anyone here any family under the spirit of delay bring them out Sakoto Shabariata I decree and I declare I decree and I declare the fire of God breaking the chains of delay breaking the chains of delay breaking the chains of delay Breaking the chains of delay. Breaking the chains of delay. Bring them out. Wani kamar the kai. Papu. Wani kamar the kai. Delay over. Over forever. There is an anointing. I told you the anointing is the answer to the prayers. There is an anointing. I'm seeing in this main bowl 16 people. I'm seeing a number 16. Where are they? I stretch my hands. That sword of the spirit breaking delay. There are families with a covenant of delay. A covenant of delay. A covenant of delay. Breaking now. Break it now. Break it now. The covenant of delay. Shakatatata. Reketo kosotoba. The covenant of delay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Overflow three, please look at me on the screen. You don't need to bring them here. It's too long a distance. Those inside that building, just look at me on the screen. Because I'm seeing angels moving at overflow three. And I want to pray for you. Overflow three, right now in the name of Jesus. Right where you are. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing the number 24. 24 people right at overflow three. The Lord is breaking delay. Breaking delay from them. Breaking delay right now. Breaking delay. Hallelujah. There are still people. Listen, I want you to believe in what God is doing. I want you to have a testimony. 
without an encounter with his power it will just be a religious service i promise you and you will go back it is the power of god the power of god is what draws the line hallelujah delay delay god is not yet done where is that family oh lord that nobody has moved forward i'm seeing delay don't worry god is coming in the anointing of the spirit is looking for a family there is a family there is a family there is a family they are here there is a family jesus Shokos Ketosia help this woman. Sheketos Keleketa Yata Tosikata. There is a family. This is not just an individual thing. There is a family. The power of God is searching for a family that the devil has kept, kept, kept so that they will not rise. hallelujah we are going to be fast tonight there are many things to do i want you to be sensitive the lord is showing me a vision now and i'm seeing a grave i'm seeing something that looks like a black leather inside that grave and i'm seeing an angel of the lord pull it out and the lord is saying this was done against a family lord where is that family right now i stretch my hands whoever programmed the earth to fight any family tonight is a night of resurrection so get us carry at the parado soto kosh eleke to kesete kotos priya katas kotari at kosia eke tos koli adada i decree and declare let it come out now let it come out the breakthrough of that family the healing of that family the miracle of that family i release it now Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm standing here and I'm looking at this stage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm counting seven stones. And the Lord is saying these are tight destinies. This is the whole destiny of a family. Seven of them. But may the sword of the God I serve. Shakoto Sukata. Shakras Katakosia. Raketo toto tetete, ele katos keta proskia, rakata batos soteriata. In the name of Jesus, any family tied down by witchcraft, any family tied down by ordinances, I decree and declare by the blood of Jesus, liberty tonight, liberty tonight. hallelujah i'm seeing a family and there are four ladies and all the four ladies have a growth either a breast lump or something in their body four ladies all of them have it in the name of jesus christ wherever this family is regardless of what what overflow i stretch my hands now in the name of jesus christ that family does not need healing. That family needs deliverance. I command deliverance right now. Shakato skata. Lekata koto soto priyata. I command deliverance for that family now. I command deliverance now. When I was praying, I saw at least eight women that were barren no child doesn't matter what he is some of them connected to families 
and the Lord told me he was going to open the wombs of every single one of them every single one of them every single one of them please lift your hands I want to pray now I believe in deliverance I really do this mama there's serious witchcraft in your family as I'm praying for you now I'm seeing a rope a rope I'm seeing a rope and the Lord is saying that I should set this mama free I'm just being fast because I want us to conserve time hallelujah listen do you know why we do not minister deliverance just as a religious thing no it is a way of separating people and the influences that tie them down that's what I want to do now I want to pray listen many of you inside many of you outside are here now because of spirits you may not believe it you may not agree but it's true they are the forces responsible for the pain and the tragedies that we are going through but I want to pray for you now your own is to believe just do what I'm asking you to do we have already prayed if those spirits do not clear out of your life there is no breakthrough you, you would have come to waste your time let me tell you the truth it is when those forces leave your life families here spirits have sat on the destinies of families do your worst go to school and come back and meet us get a job and still come back and meet us marry and come back and meet us are we together it's time for them to go lift your hands everyone I want to pray for you now I'm going to command those devils to leave you listen it's not a suggestion they must go they must leave you are we together now I'm praying for you please now because the ushers are doing their best the protocol is doing their best but there is only so much they may not be able to help people there are people outside please be your brother's neighbor if someone is under the anointing and is capsizing to enjoy himself you can do well to help please you can help at least manage the ushers will come for it because this prayer I'm about to pray now is going to bring strange manifestations in people I see a lot of wild spirits wicked ancient spirits all shapes and all sizes they must go now just one instruction I just want you to shout when I ask you the name of Jesus once and at the top of your voice now listen don't be surprised when you find out that demons are manifesting through you it doesn't mean you are possessed no that's a different thing altogether some of you as you are here you are representing your family nothing may be wrong with you as a person but because of your family are you ready now lift your hands father in the name of Jesus you have anointed this place as a place of fire a place of grace and deliverance there are lives and destinies that have been tied down for ages and in the name of Jesus at the sound of my voice may your voice be in my voice may your grace be in my voice I send an alarm to the length and breadth of this place that at the count of three anyone that shouts that name let there be deliverance right now are you ready one two three i command those devils go now go now ancestral spirits spirit husbands spirit wives yokes of darkness i command you by the power of the Holy Ghost ancient spirits spirits that have been generational familiar spirits 
I command you now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost overflow one overflow two overflow three let them go now let them go now lift your hands lift your hands i'm seeing a number of ladies there are all kinds of spirits manifesting in the night as a man and a woman manifesting as animals in your sleeps and dreams in the name of jesus where are those ladies fire is looking for them now shakoto soto ketiata ekelatos kopriata i separate you from those spirits i separate you from those covenants i separate you from those ordinances any man any woman any entity appearing to you in the night using the faces of men and animals in the name of jesus i command by the spirit a severance between you and them hallelujah sir this baba can i talk to you sir please come god is about to change your story forever i don't know you sir but i want to pray for you stand up please stand up sir i'm looking at you in a vision and i'm seeing you are not alone you came with some people your children one one child your son eh? only you no there's a son he's here where is he come come and stand daddy i want to pray for you that this life of hardship god one please stand up please stand up you don't have to kneel down sir this is your dad i want to pray for you you came believing eh august is it augustus i'm hearing the name augustus augustus is it augustus is it augustus augustine or something augustus please if that's your name let me just talk to you quickly I want to minimize personal prophecy so that we can do much. We want to pray for the sick. I want to take out time and do an extensive deliverance tonight because there are people that... My sister, come. This lady, this one, not you. You are not a woman, my brother. This, come. Lift your hands. Shout over. Over. Forever. In the name of Jesus Christ for you and your family. It's over in the name of Jesus Christ. Sir. If you have never believed a man of God in your life, what is about to happen to you? There is a reason why I asked you to come because the Lord showed me that there was a son. And I want to prophesy to you that this life of hardship will end like smoke before the wind. You believe it, sir? Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. It's over right now. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare that it's over. In the name of Jesus. Over forever. Sir, hold my hands. Go and prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and prosper by the anointing of the Spirit of God. Go and prosper. Gabriel, who is Gabriel? Gabriel, I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Please let's hurry up so that we don't waste time. Gabriel, Gabriel. Is he Gabriel? What's your name? Huh? Augustine, come. You are Gabriel. Why is he here? Augustine, I want to pray for you. Where's your family? My dad is around. My sister. Hold on. There's a man wearing white. Is he your father? White shirt. Yes, Call him. Let him come. Who is that? Who is that? There's somebody. I'm seeing somebody wearing white. What's, please coordinate them. What? You're welcome, sir. Your name is Gabriel, sir. I'm going to pray for you. Please stand here. I want to pray for you. This is the guy wearing white. Come. What is he? My brother. Your brother. Come and stand. God wants to change your life. I don't know you, but I saw someone standing close to you wearing white. That's why I said there's somebody wearing white. 
two of you, I want to pray for you. You love Jesus. God is going to change your life. Why is he here? Your name is Gabriel. You too. I'm going to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, my God. Honestly, I tell you, God is visiting families. I don't know if it's because it's 1st October, but I see strange miracles. You, this one, put your hand on your stomach there, right now. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing fire coming on you. And the Lord is, I should tell you, he's taking something away from your stomach. That's what is happening right now. In the name of Jesus, I command that thing to go now. My brother, there is oppression. There's a spirit that you need to be delivered from. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Out now of his life and his family. Help two of them. God is delivering them. This is the spirit that is destroying their family. What's your name, sir? Augustine. Augustine. Where's the other Augustine? Okay, you are the one. You are the Augustine. Where are you from? Abia State. Abia State. Yes. I want to pray for you. God wants to give your family a miracle. Do you believe that? Lift your hands. There's bad luck in your life. The Lord is asking me to end it now. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands. I end bad luck. Over. The boy doesn't even believe. As you are standing, the anointing still touch you, but it doesn't have faith. Don't come and stand here and you are wondering. I'm not a herbalist. Have I prayed for you? What's your name? Year two. Year two. What is year two? I'm seeing Y E. Is it Y E T U or year two or year two? Something like that. Year two. Something that has to do with year two. Y E T U. I don't know if it's part of someone's name or something. Year two. Who is that? That's her name. What's her name? Year two. Can you imagine? How can you call somebody's name Yetu? You can guess Gabriel, you can guess Mary. But Yetu, I want to pray. There's something being taken from her life. Hold my hands. And the Lord is saying I should take it away. In the name of Jesus, let it roll like a curtain. And leave her life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is of the devil. And I release your wife right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus your miracle has come your miracle has come you love Jesus my friend look at me you love Jesus I want to pray for you ah, in the name of Jesus why is she here your dad there is a copper that I want to pray for there is a copper something is coming on you my dear Let me pray for you. Don't worry. If, if, I, if all I do, I, I just lay my hands on you. Um, it, it doesn't matter. Please, why are you here? You are Gabriel? Gabriel. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for this guy. God is giving you favor. Great favor. Great favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's, there's bad luck in your life and your family. But it's going now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's going. That's why you're here. Gabriel. Aleku is there. This is like an idol. Aleku or Aleku. Eh? Aleku. Aleku. Who is that? Eh? Hold on. Where are you from? Aleku. This is something that has to do with a tree. Is there something like that? Is a what? Why are they coming out? What is, why are you? They named somebody after the idol. And the Lord is saying, who, who is the person? Whose name? This is, it's not just an idol. We are going to pray for Benway State. But the, every state has a devil somewhere. I'm saying, this is like somebody's name. Ale, Ale Kuos, Ale something like that. Ale Ku or so. Who is this? Huh? What's that?
Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. What's your name? Eh? Grace. Please, can you help us with this mic? The mic, please. Where are you from? Benway. You are from Benway. Yes. The Lord is showing me something. Look at me. If I'm right, say I'm right. If, if it's no, say no. I'm seeing you lying down and you are having a dream. Yes. And in the dream, you are calling this name I've been calling. Yes. Is that true? They call that name three times. One, two, three. That idol. Is that true? Yes. Sir. From that day when you woke up, your life was never the same again. Is that true? Give her the mic now. Let her talk. Yes. Sir. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Hold my hands. If you are from Benway here, hold my hands. Anything, any programming that has been done with any God, you will be surprised what will happen now. In the name of Jesus Christ, anyone here from Benway whose destiny has been tied to any tree or any devil, right now, I use this lady as a point of contact. As God is touching her, Shakato Totokata. Out of their lives now. Out of their destinies now. Daddy, let me pray for you, sir. This is your first time here? No, sir. I've been coming, sir. You've been coming, sir? Yes. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? Sir? What do you do? I'm a staff of a medical university. I have to pray for you, sir. Because I look at you, and not, not only because I'm looking at you, nobody will look at you and know, but there's serious depression, and I have to pray for you. That's number one. Number two, you have, do you know what they call the cause of hardship? You are not a lazy man, but there is hardship in your life. And the Lord is asking me to help you. Can I pray for you, sir? In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I pray for this, our daddy. Let there be a miracle right now in his life. I command this yoke of hardship to go. Let it go forever. In the name of Jesus. Let it go forever. Jumai. 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 Is that your name? Uh, well, I'll pray for you, but this is not the person I'm seeing. Jumai. I'll pray for you. Your family is oppressed. There is a spirit that must go now. Bring her. I've not even started praying. Bring her. There is a, a, a wicked spirit that I see in this family. A very wicked spirit that I see in this family. This is something that is older than, older than old. This is hundreds of years old. But in the name of Jesus, I'm praying now. I use you as a point of contact. I command that spirit, you must go now. Hallelujah. Please, just allow me. This is, Juma, I'll pray for you. But I'm seeing a family. This is like a curse. No matter what the men do, they never rise. The Lord is saying I should break it. Something is happening to a family right now. Let me pray. My sister, this is your first time here. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Don't be afraid. As I pray for you, the Lord is going to open a door in your destiny that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus, I hold your hands now and decree and declare that everything that has tied you down, everything that has tied you down, right now in the name of jesus there is disfavor in your life anybody who plans to bless you something turns them away from you anybody who plans to bless you something turns them away from you i hold your hands and i release you right now in jesus name i want to pray in a hurry there is a family all the men it doesn't matter whether you are hard working whether you go to school or not but the lord is asking me to pray for that family right now lord where are they I'm stretching my hands now and I'm declaring anyone here inside, outside, under the sound of my voice that belongs to this category as I stretch my hands right now I release the power of God to that family right now 
I speak to the men in that family arise now arise now arise now arise now arise now help that woman arise now arise now the men in that family arise now arise now in the name of Jesus There's somebody here you lost your job in the month of March March you lost your job please where is that person you were working but in the month of March I want us to hurry up I, I'm, I'm trying to see that we conserve time the month of March I don't know if you are except if he's a person is far maybe overflow tree then they can just locate him you lost your job there's something you lost your job in the month of March where is that person Please quickly, if there's someone like that. What were you doing? I was a banker. I was a banker. You're a banker? Yes, sir. Something happened? Yes, sir. And they dismissed you? Yes, sir. What are you doing now? I'm doing my PG program for now. Do you believe if I pray for you, you'll get a job? Yes, sir. Will you come and testify? Yes, sir. <laughs> Where? Where have you been praying for? Ah, sorry. Where have you been praying for for a job? Uh, same bank. bank the same job. bank. Same bank. You want them to call you back? Yes, sir. Do you believe they can call you back? Sure. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. Because you see, I'm looking at something that had to do with money, and truly the guy was innocent. But they just joined people and since there was nobody to stand for him they joined everybody and threw them out but in the name of jesus whatever should not leave you and left you i call it back to your life now i call it back to your life now i call it back to your life now hear me I know many of you may not. Why is he here, sir? Come. Well, stand up, sir. You were outside? Yes, overflow three. Overflow three. Yes, you sir. lost your job. Where were you working? I'm working in hospital. Which hospital? Accountant. Which hospital? Tukutuku Medical Center. So that, you see. We don't ask this question because we are prying into your privacy. I hope you are not embarrassed. Sometimes we ask it so that people don't think that this thing, because there are still people with all these things they see, they still believe that maybe someone is playing games. At least this one is not, you are watching it now. Which hospital, sir? Tukutuku Medical Center, Zaria. At uh, Tukutuku. Okay, where are you working now? I'm just, I'm managing with one private school. What do you want God to do for you? Just get back the job back to that place no 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 another job sir another job yes. do you believe if i pray for you god will give you a job i believe that do you know why i'm prophesying to you in the open so that you will testify in the open too what's your name sir i'm paul paul yes sir god will give you a job eh? amen the heaven of heavens belongs to the lord listen so when it has to do things there, we don't legislate. We make petitions. But the act has he given to the sons of men. I give you a job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy it in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. He will go and return with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, how many of us are trusting God for healing miracles? Or came with loved ones that are really sick? Okay, we have a lot to do. So what will happen is, we'll take a break now to minister very quickly to the sick. And then after that, I'm still going to minister to people shortly before we do the final prayer. Will that be okay? Now, but while we are doing that, please, no laziness. There will be prayer points. Are we together? There will be prayer points. Once the prayer point comes, pray. Because in that prayer point, you will receive your miracle. Praise the Lord. But don't sit down yet. I'm, I'm not walking around, but I just want to. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord directing me to someone. There is, there is something that we must settle here. 
I'm seeing an anointing going around this place. I'm seeing an anointing going around this area. There is oppression over someone's destiny. That's the lady in the name of Jesus. I command that devil to go now. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bring her out. There's no space here, right? Please, don't push them. Don't push them. We are coming back. Just take her out to wait for me. Mama, what do you want God to do for you? I want to get you on her. I to Mama, I want to get you on her. I want to get you I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. Let it be over now. That oppression. Let it be over by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is where I'm coming to. In the name of Jesus. Hold on. Hold on. In the name of Jesus. I saw light moving across here. And God wants to visit a family right now. Three of them. One, two, three. Where are they? Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the visitation come now. No hiding. The Lord must touch them. That's why you came. The Lord must touch you. Casting crowds, lifting hands, bowing hearts, that's all we come to do. Let her go now. Casting, Casting crowds, out, lifting hands, bowing hearts, that's all we come to do. In your name. Look at me. Shout Jesus. Something is tying you. Let it lose you now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it be over now. Hallelujah. Now please, for those of you coming here for the first time, we take our time. We, you see that we don't announce instant miracles except because we don't have the time. Our time is very limited. Praise the Lord. Now this is what we are going to do. Um, while I give you the prayer request, please listen carefully. Those, please listen carefully. I want to pray particularly. Particularly. No matter what overflow you are in. If you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Don't come now. But when it's time to come, I want you to come. I want to pray for you by myself. But any other issue, those inside, I want you to come stand here. And then part of Overflow 2, maybe half of Overflow 2 can join them. Now Overflow 1, please you go to your projector stand. Overflow 2 and those spilling over at the roadside. You can move to the projector stand. Overflow 3. If God grants grace and there's time, I will just run and come and visit you briefly just to let you know we are together. Overflow 3, move to your projector stand. Hallelujah. And we are going to pray very quickly. Please, if they don't prophesy to you or they don't minister to you, don't worry. We have to pray quickly so that I will focus and do other things. I want everybody to receive. Will that be fine? But those who are trusting God for fruit of the womb, whether you are in Overflow 1, 2, 3, wherever, I'd like you to please come. Those online, doesn't matter any nation, those following us online, doesn't matter your nation, you're trusting God for a miracle. I want you to connect right now by faith. Hallelujah. So we're going to do three things at the same time. Number one, you're going to be submitting your prayer request to the ushers. Number two, you're going to be praying the prayers that I'll give you while preparing our faith. And then number three, we'll come out. Is that all right? Praise the Lord. So let's do that very quickly. Very quickly, please. You're trusting God or you came with a sick person. Now is your time to come out, please. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Jesus, we bless you. Pardon You reign on Casting crowds. Lifting hands. Bowing hearts. What 
we've come to do Casting rods We are lifting hands Bowing hearts It's what we've come to do It's in your name We will rise I don't Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray. You came with her. Huh? In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave her now. Leave her now. In the name of Jesus. Can you lay your hands on her, Jimmy? Just on her chest or anywhere. Just touch her there. In the name of Jesus, I decree. I curse that spirit. You go and you go forever. In the name of Jesus. Now this is what will happen. Please, we are going to be very fast. We have to be fast. You see that there are lots of people. Uh, our miracle services. If you came with someone, uh, just be patient. We are going to attend to them. Praise the Lord. Thank God we have, uh, we have many hands. And by the grace of God, will coordinate, will make it very fast. Ushers, please be collecting the prayer requests. If your loved ones are yet to send their own, send them a text quickly. And she can join the queue. Just keep them somewhere. I'm going to lay my hands on them. Praise the Lord. How many overflows do we have? There's an extra overflow I see by the road. It has spilled over. Maybe overflow four. You can, uh, let's see. We have to be fast. Praise the Lord. Okay, this is what will happen. Um... Pastor Jimmy will be at the overflow outside here. Pastor Alpha, you'll be at the overflow here. Benga, you would go to overflow three. Uh, is there someone outside here? Who is outside here? Pastor Alpha is outside. Uh, promise. Promise you will be here with Pastor Alpha. And then... Um, Pastor Femi, you'll be with um, you'll be with Benga right there at the overflow. Inside here, I don't know how many people are left. And by God's grace, God will grant us grace and we'll have a lot more people to be able to minister. Okay, Kenny. Kenny, join join um, a Jimmy. You join a Jimmy there. I think that's that's all right so far. Let's let's just trust God for grace. Father. We agree in the name of Jesus Christ that for everyone we are praying for, it doesn't matter who lays hands on them, let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be miracles. The devil is a liar. Let there be miracles. In the name of Jesus. Put your hand on your stomach, my dear. I want to remove something from your body now. In the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit, that devilish spirit. Father, let there be miracles in Jesus' name. Please, let's go very quickly. We we'll need more hands. I don't know if we we'll still have people. I know they may. Aaron, what if you are not doing anything? Please, if you can help out in overflow three with them so that at least we can help to coordinate things there. Praise the Lord. Father, let there be an avalanche of miracles here right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please worship him. You're going to give us, we're going to pray one prayer first. I'd like you to decree and declare and say, Father, I prophesy over myself that my miracle locates me now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Father, we give you all the praise. Do I only know how to do? Come and change my story. Give me a testimony Do what only you know How to do Can I hear you say Do what only you know Do what only you know How to do Can you lift up a voice and say Do what only you know Do what only you know How to do Hey Come and change Come and change my story Give me a testimony Give me do what only you know Do what only you know How to do Somebody say Do what only you know how to do Do what only you know How to do I say do what only you know How to do Do what only you know 
My trust is in you. Hey, the ancient of days. My trust is in you. Hey, I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. Hey, I put them on you. Say, my trust is in you. I am not Judah. My trust is in you. I put them on you, Lord. My trust is in you. I put them on you, Lord. My trust is in you. In the name of Jesus, shout it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that tonight. It's my night of testimony. Lift your voice and begin to pray over your request. Lift your voice and begin to declare. Professor, tonight is my night of testimony. Shaka toko to prekete kata. Shaka paskata prekete kosh. Unto you that answers prayers. Shall all flesh come? Pray, lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus, we declare. Make sure you are praying. Lord, I decree and declare. I will not write this twice. I will not write this twice. Lord, we decree and declare. Miracles. Miracles. Are you praying? Miracles. Visit families. There are still more that should come quickly. Apokoto prokoto sekete balalaba. You reign, you ancient Zion skin. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Are we done? Are all the requests here, please? In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, 
I bow my knees before the God of my covenant and I decree and declare that every request placed here I turn it to a testimony now I turn it to a testimony now strange testimonies now strange testimonies now Lord I cry that you step in and do impossible miracles in the name of Jesus Christ listen let me tell you there are things written here that except the writer if you read it you won't even believe that it can happen but I pray the God who has the all-seeing eye that can see every request a representation of every man's pain here I call on that God answer by fire answer by fire father there are issues here that are impossible with men some of them have deadlines that cannot be achieved humanly but in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God I prophesy let there be strange miracles strange miracles now for all those connecting from whatever nation in the name of Jesus we agree with you here the same fire that is on this altar through the internet to your various localities you receive the same testimony in the name of Jesus every human agent that must partner with God for this request to be granted we force them from their hiding places to appear now in the name of Jesus Christ whoever must die for this request to be answered in the name of Jesus the ground opens and swallows them Whoever must lack sleep for this request to be granted, we seize their peace and their sleep now. Hear me? Any mortal man that says over his dead body for you to testify, may God answer their prayers this night. The Lord is opening my eyes. I know they are still ministering outside. Let's be patient. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing trees. I'm seeing trees in the realm of the spirit. And I'm seeing these trees. It's like a representation of families. Hold on please. I'm seeing these trees like a representation of families. And I'm looking at it. I've never seen a tree bringing out blood, human blood. But in this vision, I'm seeing a tree, but I'm seeing human blood. This is like a representation of families. I decree and declare. I don't know what family the devil is taking advantage of, but I want to pray now. I'm not prophesying. I'm speaking for, for God to locate a family that must not go back this night in this situation. Lord, I decree and declare wherever that family is, right now in the name of Jesus, may the fire of God locate that family now. May the fire of God locate that family now. The Lord is releasing an anointing. Hold on. Over people. It's for supernatural clarity and direction. That's what I hear. Receive it now. People are receiving it. People are receiving it. I prophesy. Clarity. Clarity. God is answering questions now. By the anointing. If that fire comes from you, you are receiving direction right now. Clarity. Clarity. All the overflows. Clarity. 
I release that anointing right now. God is giving clarity. Listen, I'm still praying it. I'm seeing anointings that will translate as answers. Should I stay here or should I relocate somewhere else? Should I start the project or should I stop? Every confusion and anointing is answering it now. An anointing is answering it now. An anointing is answering it now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm praying for everybody, but I'm seeing particularly overflow one. An anointing for divine recovery. Divine recovery. Let me tell you something. Whatever leaves you can come back to your life. Are you hearing now? There are people who have lost things. I'm about to call it into your life now. And as that anointing comes on you, just know that it's your time of recovery. Lord, where are they? Where are those who have lost things that need recovery? Shakata kata kata. Shakata kata kata. Proskete kata. Everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere. Inside, outside, outside. The grace for recovery. The grace for recovery. I release that grace now over individuals and over families over individuals and over families individuals who have lost things lost things lost opportunities lost opportunities somebody is recovering an opportunity somebody is recovering something that left you hallelujah the angel of the lord is leading me here there are at least four people this grace for recovery must come upon you i'm seeing at least four people something you have lost is about to look for you something you have lost must look for you i force it to look for you by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah listen let me tell you i told you god answers you by bringing the anointing in your direction that collision with the anointing is what will program your testimony and all of a sudden you will see strange testimonies happening to you hallelujah i'm seeing a strong man in four families that god is clearing out of the way listen listen i don't say things like this lightly but i'm seeing at least i'm seeing two women and two men who have sat for long on the destinies of people they don't even know they are the ones where are they inside and outside whoever in the name of jesus by the fire of the holy ghost any man sitting on anybody's destiny here you want to rise but they stop you you want to move but they sit on your glory i clear them out of the way now listen you should attend a miracle service like this and know that you attended a miracle service like this mama you see that the devil wants to kill this woman with cancer eat her into pieces with cancer and destroy her your mother you are the ones who brought her hold the mother and two of you come you two of you need deliverance first leave mama come come and stand someone should hold or get a seat for mama to sit i've prayed for her but i'm looking i'm this is this is your mother two of you i want to pray for you eh what you need i know you brought your mother to be healed of cancer but for you god must heal you first you will need deliverance eh? i'm not saying you are witches but i have to pray for you this is the instruction god is giving me father in the name of jesus you will not allow these ladies to go down the way of trouble and sorrow and pain and discouragement therefore i lay my hands on you in the name of jesus fire over every wicked devil in the name of jesus you came to stand in for your mother 
but Satan has his own plan for you in the name of Jesus Kai, wickedness is real I held these ladies and the Lord showed me a vision I'm seeing a man a real herbalist sitting down on the ground and I'm seeing something that looks like a pot they are writing names of people with blood blood not chalk they will write it and throw it inside the pot write it and throw it this is an Igbo family write it throw it inside the pot Lord I don't know why you showed me this vision but in the name of Jesus I don't care where the family is but in the name of first my first prayer point is that that herbalist must die first in the name of Jesus Christ if you don't like the prayer point say amen to the one you believe but my first prayer point is that the wicked herbalist this is someone's destiny these people are here oh, I'm praying you may not even know you are the one I say it again whoever is that man on the ground writing whose name whether it's your marital destiny whether it's your breakthrough in the name of Jesus let the earth open and swallow that wicked man who say now who say now who say now who is that please let her come please quickly you are who say now what's your name huh? who say now I want to pray for you. Eh? I'll pray for two of you, but you are the one I want to pray for. What's your name? From where? What state are you from? FCT. You are from FCT. Do you believe in favor? Shout it. No, you are not shouting. You have shout favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a lot of bad luck for you and your family and this is what God is bringing for you. Favor. Who say now I want to pray for you? You are who say now to madam? Please come. You too. Is it mother and daughter or you are coming by yourself? You are, you are who say now to. I'll pray for you. But this is the lady I want to speak to. You love Jesus with all your heart. I want to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough for you and your family. Major breakthrough. I lay my hands right now and I command, let it happen right now. In the name of Jesus. Where are you from, my dear? Jalingo, Taraba, in the name of Jesus, the Lord gives you a miracle. Now, in the name of Jesus, let me pray for you. Every bad luck must live your life now. Eh? Every bad luck must live your life. I lay my hands and I command that spirit to go. This lady, only bad things look for her. There are people like that. When good things come, they just turn. There is a spirit that turns it away everybody is getting a job something that is simple when is your turn let me tell you something hardship is not poverty hardship is a spirit you get things but something you can get for two weeks will take you four years is hardship is a cause are you hearing what i'm saying now you can't go give god glory under that kind of condition simple things you ask somebody out i want to marry you they answer you after four years it's a cause are you are you a demon it's a cause you start a building project you finish after 10 years it's not a blessing a hard life is worse than poverty this is what the devil has put on the life of this lady I, I take it away now in the name of Jesus and I use her as a point of contact if there is anything on anyone's head that is responsible for bad luck happening shakatos katapakata in the name of Jesus I command whatever it is let the fire of God come upon it now let me pray for you man in the name of Jesus I lay my hands upon you and I release favor in the name of Jesus favor I'm seeing someone you are into printing please let's hurry up we have to stop a few minutes now so that you are into printing 
you print like um, posters, whatever it is you design, you print banners. Please, who is that person? I want to pray for you. You are into printing? Uh, I will pray for you, but the person I'm seeing, I'm not saying if you want to do it, if you are currently doing it, you are into it? For how long? Since my, my child was up. I was born into printing. Your father is a printer? Yes, sir. Where do you do it? Mina. Mina? Yes, sir. From Mina, you came here? I'm serving in Kadzara. Because yes. the person I'm seeing is about to lose a lot of money. This is a contract or project that someone will give you. You will suffer and do it and something will happen and destroy that whole job. And the person will say you must pay. And it's going to cost you hundreds. I don't know. Well, may not be so much money to you, but I'm seeing something. Losses of at least this is a very big project that the person is even angry. I'm seeing something that even has to do with police. Because the person will say that you went and gave the job. All of you are into printing. What are you printing? Into printing. What printing? Books, everything in every press. Books. You yes. too. Your dad. All of you. I'll pray for you. You are standing in for somebody. We have to avert this. This time of recession is not the best time to get into trouble with police. Say amen. amen. We want to stop it now. So that whether it's your fault or not, when you are in trouble, you are in trouble. And you see, the way the devourer works is that he will wait just when I'm, I'm soon going to do that prayer. Where things work, just when the miracle is about to happen, something happens and destroys your life. I have to pray for you. Where is your dad? Huh? He stays in Abuja. He stays in Abuja. That's where you stay too? Yes. What's your name? Peace. Peace. I want to pray so that we'll stop trouble, eh? In the name of Jesus. Daddy, we use your daughter as a point of contact to pray. Every trouble we avert now. You two, you are into the printing. Where? Abu Press. Abu Press. Yes. You work with Abu Press. Yes. Hey, you work there now. It's not your own. Okay, but I will still pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Grace. The one for Mina. I release you. Eh? Can I pray for businesses? Can I speak over businesses? Huh? You are into printing? Uh, what's your name? Hassan. Hassan. You, you, you need to... Um, well, I don't mean to embarrass you, but you are very shabby. Huh? You need to organize your life. You're a smart young man, but you see how you are looking like uh, a thief. You'll be smart when you are coming to the house of God. Listen, when you, people are, when you are coming to the house of God, don't embarrass him. This is a family but you look smart. You don't dress, you see, no shoes, your hair is scattered, not combed. You look smart. Eh? You are my friend. I want you, it will be difficult for you to progress in life like this. It will be difficult for you to get a good wife like this. It will be difficult for you to get many good things. Appearance is the seed for acceptance. Don't say it doesn't matter. Dress well. The house... Organize his life in the name of Jesus Christ. Organize his destiny. There is a spirit of excellence. Excellence is a spirit. You receive it in Jesus' name. I'll quickly pray for you. Doesn't matter where you're standing. You, you are into printing too. You too. In the name of Jesus, all those into printing, I lay my hands, Pastor Lawrence, grace for you. You will do well. You will get jobs in Jesus' name. There are some of us, what we need now, we are at a point in our lives where humanly speaking, we have paid our price. What you need is favor. And we are going to pray it. Is that true? Are there people like that here? There are others you have not paid your price. Paying for favor is putting you into trouble. What I need to pray for you for is grace not to be lazy. Laziness is also a spirit. Many of us don't know. It takes a lot of laziness. 
um, something is leaving you that devil must go now in the name of Jesus Christ let her go by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ you are into printing too in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah there is somebody you so close you are a serious tailor but for a long time this is from April everything just went down I don't mean gradually down like this it's almost as if please who is that person you are a tailor you sew clothes you are a serious tailor but something just happened i'm seeing the month of april and everything just went down you are the one you sew clothes where Django. who knows you if you are a serious tailor they should know you here who are who, you've sewn people's clothes here Okay, Zango. Yes, there's a shop. I'm what ha then what happened? There's a shop. I'm working for somebody. So last month, he sent me out and closed the shop for no reason. Last month? Yeah. Um, no. Okay, I'll pray for you. If you did something wrong and they pursued you, when you come here, you ask for mercy. You don't complain. Even if it's my shop and you don't do well, I will drive you. Everybody wants to succeed. So let's, let's be very honest when we are before God. Praise God. When you are before God, if you tell the truth, that's even what will provoke his mercy. You understand? If, you, if, if I employ you, don't be embarrassed, my dear, but if I employ you and you are not bringing me anything and I'm paying you, why won't I downsize and drive you? So don't make it look as if because this person you are saying drove you. I'm not seeing the person as a wicked person. No. Something happened and it's your fault. Eh? You need the mercy of God. And God will help you. Don't make it. You see that if, if it's not revelation now, you will now blame someone else and say that person is wicked. My prayer for you is that God will bless you too. Huh? But please, don't be angry. I'm not seeing that person. That person did exactly what I would have done. Hmm? Father, in the name of Jesus, show your daughter mercy. If you need mastery, may God improve your skill. May God improve your value. And I pray for you in Jesus' name. God will not leave you hungry. The God we serve will change your story tonight. In the name of Jesus. You experience his mercy. You experience his grace. Madam, you are a tailor. Where? Samaru Market. Samaru. Market. You have your shop? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. You are a good woman, but you are always entering trouble with those you sold their clothes. You don't used to finish on time. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. The Lord is showing me. Don't be embarrassed. This is a family. It may just need you are a very good tailor. I'm not I'm not against you. Don't feel bad. I'll feather some people. That's what I'm seeing now. Yes, and there's problem now. They are even angry. Yes, sir. Because they are supposed to sew something for them for an occasion. Uh, and you didn't finish. And now the person is really angry. So these are some of the things we are talking about. As God steps in, let's allow his mercy. Just tell them sorry. Because you I want you would have been far more than you are now. But there is a spirit of delay sitting on your glory. Hold my hands. He must go now. To draw from you again. Again. We've come to draw. 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 Draw from you again. Listen. I want you to mark this woman. The kind of favor this woman will enter into from this night will surprise you. I'm saying it in the open. The Lord will give you favor. You are a tailor. Why are you just coming, my brother? We are praying for people here. Father, in the name of Jesus, help our brother to succeed. It's unbelief. If God is calling a case to help people, huh? you come out proudly. You don't stand there. You are ashamed. You understand you are a student and you are doing it you people too you are tailors see the tailors are now coming out we'll pray for your business please all tailors do a good job we believe in excellence don't say I'm praying for you publicly it's not just endorsing you to destroy people's clothes do a good job praise the Lord do a good job and we'll pray for you. 
there are too many people here to school of ministry wants to do their graduation gown in two weeks we are graduating our students 243 students imagine that you get the contract to do their gown if you do a good work god will honor you if you do a nonsense work people will not endorse you just because it's the house of god praise the lord my brother you want to study where Oh, you are a student? Yes. Be okay. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord grant you grace. God will raise help for you. In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You are a tailor? In the name of Jesus, God will raise help for you. You need deliverance. I command the Spirit. Hi. This lady has oppression in your dream. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the living God. You didn't come out for Taylor. You came out by the mercies of God. You see what I'm saying? This is the Taylor now. You see what? Let me pray for her, please. I see a wild animal. I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing... Kai. Lord Jesus, mercy. I command every legal access Satan has over you. When this lady gets angry, she can swallow you. It's not her fault. It's a spirit. Be free now. Look how many people are holding one lady. In the name of Jesus, I set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let me advise you. If you want to enter a relationship, pray. If you want to marry, pray. You listen to what I'm telling you. You see, the body of Christ, we don't listen. And we do, I'm not saying this lady is a witch, please don't get me wrong. But I'm saying you should pray. Now, I'm not condemning her. But imagine that you are in a relationship with this lady and you married last week. You see this? If this lady is angry, that spirit will manifest. No matter how strong you are, she will beat the living daylight out of you. When that spirit leaves her, she will tell you sorry and then it will come back. This is what God is helping us to solve. Are we together? Now imagine you are a customer and just because you gave her 10,000, you insulted her. When that spirit rises, she will tear your cloth or beat you. Lord Jesus, we invoke your mercy upon her. In Jesus' name. Madam, you are a tailor too? Where? Judge. Judge. I'll pray for you. You are a tailor too? Where? You are in Nazareth State. In the name of Jesus, may God increase you. I speak to your business. Let it increase. Experience increase. Delay lives your life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you are in business, please lift your hands. I want to speak over your life. Please believe the prayer I'm praying for you. There is an anointing that makes people prosper. Why are you here? You are tailors. You are all tailors. What do you mean you are tailors? This gentleman, you are a tailor too? Okay, please come. You would have come out since so that our time, you know, our time. You are all tailors. You are a tailor too. I hope we all know that this is the house of God. Please don't don't tell lies. If you are not a tailor here, I'm, the prayer will reach everybody. If you are not into tailoring, please don't embarrass yourself. If you are into tailoring, leave them, leave them, please. Provided you, are, I don't know what is this with God and tailors, but. Let's pray because God wants to increase you. You look like a tailor. You see, some of you don't look like tailors. You are, you, are not, you are not dressing like tailors. This gentleman is sharp and smart. He looks like a tailor. Ejimi teaches that you represent your brand. If you are a man of God, you show it by the anointing. If you are a tailor, if you are a public speaker, you show it by accuracy of communication. If you're a tailor, you are marketing your products at all times. You don't say, come to my shop. No. If I cannot see your tailoring prowess on you, then I shouldn't patronize you. Father, change the lives of these great people of ours. I'm just going to lay my hands and touch your head. And in the name of Jesus, I pray, may your business step into a new dimension. In the name of Jesus. As I lay my hands, please go back to your seat. Jesus name that yoke leaves you now in the name of Jesus grace for you
Grace for you. Grace for you. Go and increase. Go and multiply, my dear. Go and increase. Go and multiply. Increase, madam. Multiply. Go and increase. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. Go and increase. Go and multiply. Go and increase. Go and multiply. Go and increase. Whether you're a tailor or not, after this, you don't come out again. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In the name of Jesus. Go and multiply. Go and multiply. In Jesus' name. If you're in business, please. Any kind of good, godly business, lift your hands. If you're in a bad business, repent. And do something honorable. Listen. Let me mention an example of bad business. Any business that has to do with smuggling drugs. You are a thief. You are not in business. You stop it. I don't care whether you are helping young guys around Samaru connect with a snuff. That's not a business. Are we together? There are businesses that are demonic. Writing exams for people. Writing jam for people. Writing, I will never pray for you for increase. That's not a godly business. Business that has to do with you having an affair with somebody's husband, somebody's wife. It's not a good business. Prostitution, not a good business. Dirty business that has to do with ungodly things. No, no, sir. Let's be very sincere before God. But I pray sincerely from the depth of my heart. The power to prosper. The grace that can come on a business and turn it around overnight. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. Listen, please, I want you to be childlike enough and believe this prayer I'm praying for you. And watch what God does. Some of you, you don't have any clients, you don't have any customers. Some of you overnight, just by this prayer, by miracle service October, it will be like a dream. I prophesy to you. Some of you, you have the ideas. What you need is capital. I declare, let somebody rise up who is willing to help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you, what you need is an endorsement of someone credible in your field. So that it will open doors for you. May someone who has gone ahead of you accredit you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you are trying to sell properties. There's nobody to buy. But if someone comes to buy it, God will use it to honor you. I call somebody to buy it now. In the name of Jesus. Now I prophesy favor on everyone. I decree and declare tonight the main auditorium overflow one two three those following online the kind of favor you have never seen in your life may my god make it happen in your life now receive it in the name of jesus receive it in the name of jesus esther the village girl became esther the queen through favor ruth the hungry woman who was about to die became Ruth the wife of Boaz. I don't know who I'm prophesying to, but the favor that would change your story in one month, I release it to you right now. I release it to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help that woman there, please. There are people from January till now, you have never testified. It's not that you don't want to come out, but nothing has happened. I stand before the God of heaven and I decree and declare may my God do something in your life that will force you to come and testify in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare I don't know what door has closed between you and your next level you have been knocking for a long time and that door has refused to open I open that door for you right now I open that door for you right now 
any terminal disease ravaging anyone's body you get healed right now two weeks you are back again you get healed three weeks you are back again i set you free right now help that man. i set you free right now in the name of jesus christ the only thing you know that happens in your family is fight and quarrel no love no joy when someone is about to rise a troublemaker comes i declare may the prince of peace may the prince of peace step into our homes now step into our families now you are beautiful you love god you are a well-mannered lady no husband i'm led to pray this prayer you don't hear me pray it all the time but i decree and declare every lady here ready for a relationship a godly one i call your husband to your life now every gentleman who wants to marry but no job no money the devil is you <laughs> the devil is using lack of finances to rubbish your life in the name of jesus the god that can lift a man from a dunghill may that god lift our brothers here right now any project you started this year that you were hoping to have completed by now and as it is you need a miracle i release the finishers anointing upon you in the name of jesus christ all those writing exams shakatos prati alakatos in the name of jesus the grace to not only write your exams but to finish well i release it upon you right now in the name of jesus christ all our, our brothers and sisters who travel from several places to write post you and me in the name of jesus we give you admission here i don't care who you know or who you don't know we give you admission here now hallelujah school of ministry students are writing their exams by nine o'clock tomorrow in the name of jesus grace for retention receive it there are other people writing promotion exams others there are, we have a lot of postgraduate students doing their phd work research you know their thesis whatever it is anything that has refused to come to completion in your life I, re I release upon you grace for completion in the name of Jesus the last prayer point and we are done give me two minutes I need to pray for our spiritual lives some of you started well with God but right now you need prayers you need serious prayers prayer zero fasting zero word life zero passion for the things of God zero you are not bad but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. The fire. The Bible says the spirit of a man is the candle of the Lord. The fire that must come upon the candle of your destiny. Sokoto Pakata. From the main hall here. Overflow one. Overflow two. Overflow three. Take a fresh fire for your work with God. Take a fresh fire for your work with God. hear me some of you the moment you open your bible it's as if something happens and you close it back it's not normal i decree and declare passion for the word of god receive it right now some of you used to pray seriously you even used to attend the the weekly prayer department meeting but things happen you were offended with god and several things happen in your life and you say I'm, i've been praying but i've not seen results and you stop 
I release upon you grace to go back. Grace to go back to the prayer altar. Grace to go back to the prayer altar. Grace to go back to the prayer altar. Hear me? Those of you who, as you are seeking money, you are forgetting God. As you are seeking marriage, you are forgetting God. It's not that you want to do so. Life is pushing you away from God. Whatever is drawing you away from God, I cause that thing now. Listen, we are rounding up. God and prosperity can go hand in hand. God and marriage can go hand in hand. Whatever must make you leave God to get it is of the devil. May it live your life forever. Now keep your hands lifted. The last prayer point. God is looking for men and women of the spirit. Simple one minute prayers that will change your life now. Lift your hands. I want to pray for something to come upon these hands. Listen. Mm. there must be an evidence if you belong to this ministry this is a supernatural ministry this is a ministry of signs wonders diverse manifestations i will not end this meeting without this impartation i'm praying now at the count of three let an unction let an ancient mantle land on someone's hand one two three Take it now. Healing anointing. Take it now. Prophetic mantle. Take it now. Grace for signs and wonders. Receive it. May your hands become healing hands. May your hands become miracle hands. Deliverance hands. Favor hands. hear me the grace to win souls like never before i know it's old school i'm both old and new school depending on the one that does not work soul winning is never old school the bible says he that winneth souls is wise i pray for you grace for a dimension evangelism through signs and wonders receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now the last prayer for you the mantle of honor the grace that distinguishes a man above his contemporaries i lay my hands on my head and i prophesy to you carry that anointing right now carry that anointing right now experience strange levels of honor in the name of jesus father we give you all the praise every expectation you brought here whether i mentioned it or not i'm agreeing with you now within 24 hours let your miracle start Within 24 hours, let your miracle start. Those of you who came from far, before you get to where you came from, you will collide with miracle after miracle. Testimony after testimony. Hallelujah. If there is anyone here in ministry, a man of God, a woman of God, you have a fellowship, you have a church, I pray for you. The fire that is here, carry it back to your church. Carry it back to your fellowship. Carry it back to your place of ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Wave your hands and give Jesus praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Everyone, keep standing. You are here. Our time is gone. Everyone, please stand. You are here, you are worshipping with us for the first time. Overflow 1, Overflow 2, and inside. This is your first time, please make your way here. Overflow 3, just make your way to the front of your projector stand and look at me. Let's honor them koinonia quickly. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please keep standing two minutes. We are done. Let's honor them. They are coming. May God bless all of you who continually invite people to come. Listen, let me tell you one truth. I am very honored to have the privilege to lead this campaign of bringing the reality of the power and the presence of God to people. When you invite people, you don't necessarily make a ministry bigger. Yes, you increase them in numerical strength. But the truth about it is that you are giving people an opportunity. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.